Yo, 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 yo. Happy Friday. And thank you for the uh, the sub there, James. So, yeah, we're diving right in. I'm excited. I've been dying to jump in and start playing all day. Is it that stream? Yeah, it's that stream. <clears throat> Wait, what do you mean by that stream? <laughs> All right. Streamer. Oh. <laughs> Did your fingers grow in? I forgot my... I actually popped by the LCBO. Got myself a little refreshments of the adult variety. We're going to dive in and have a great time. Nothing bad is going to happen to our team. Nothing terrible happens in Nuzlocks, right? That's the rule. Nothing terrible can happen. Yeah, so. Hello, Emmy. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you're right. You're right. Give me... Because I missed the, uh... I can't wait to see who dies. <laughs> Hello there, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. There you go. God, I hope it's me. <laughs> My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. You play November 30th. Why is that? Adam, no dying. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, stream, Lala. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, at other times we work together. Ah, gotcha. Hello! Well, all the same. Welcome, welcome. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research. We all know the Professor's uh, spiel. <clears throat> I am bringing people in, homie. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Bringing all the folks in. Yes, sir. A fine name that is. Alright. Now I believe this boy, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? I'll tell you. <laughs> so, I named my rival Zach for this one because of the selection of people that I pick out for the rival, this one's most like my buddy Zach. Alright, time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Alright, so I actually posted what rules I'm following. Um, so I'm just going to count over them real quick. Um, so basically it's just like your rival is wearing a whole ass chicken on his head. Very true. Questionable hair choices, you know. Yeah, so obviously Pokemon faints, it goes in the PC, it's done. Um, catch the first Pokemon each time you come to a zone. I have the dupe clause in effect, where I can try up to three times for a Pokemon I haven't caught before. Um, and then, obviously you nickname everything, and the final one is I'm playing with battle style set. So, there's no free switches. <clears throat> Alrighty, so. Fair has like zero self preservation ever, right? Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. 
That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. You know, it's kind of funny when you think about it. Like, you know those, um, those shows where they go on these special adventures to try and find stuff? Uh, do we have an item box in this? No? Okay. Um, you know, like, on History Channel and stuff, they always try to find something to talk about. But this one's like, oh yeah, no, they didn't find shit. Fix my uh, model's neck there. There we go. Never in DMP. Yeah. Alright. Time to get assaulted. Holy shit, this looks better than when the trailers looked. Right? Alright. And then we're going to go talk to Zach. I think that's Zach's house. I might be wrong. Alright, uh, we go up here. One of these. There we go. Thud. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Yeah, this is about what my real life experience is with my buddy. He used to have this really uh, terrible habit. And by habit, I mean he liked to play jokes on me. Where he would hide behind corners and then jump out at me. Like, when you went to his house, you were never safe the whole time you're there. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna get a shock. saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados. Got me thinking. Oh, I bet local lake has a Pokemon like that, too. It's so funny that, like, this is just, like, on a whim. Like, he's just talking out his ass, and he's taking a guess, but, like, he right, though. <laughs> you know? There actually is um, a Pokemon under the lake. Don Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Maybe a mistake and something appears different than it was before. Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. We're leaving. Dun da da! How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Uh, there are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Let us pass, please. I don't know why, but I remember him being more rude in the original. I might be just filling in blank, uh, blanks, though. Ah, uh, yes. Being reckless kids. And we're under attack. Alright. These are Pokeballs. Which one do you want? Alright. So first I'm doing... On the extreme off chance there's a shiny in one of these. We're just gonna scroll through. But, uh... I already decided I'm going with my boy Turtwig. How could I not... Look at those clear little eyes. Look at the little happy mouth. <clears throat> oh yeah, I will point out to you guys. Um, I've added a, uh, <clears throat> a new point redeem for when we're uh, doing this. So you can actually... Uh, redeem points to name the next Pokemon or whatever Pokemon that we're catching at in the moment. So if you really want to be like, yo, you're naming it this, you have that power. <laughs> Otherwise I'll just do whatever comes to mind right away. Who 
Who's on the quest to hit the front finish line? Hydrate. Ah, good stuff. I'm actually having a cider right now. I really like the name of this place. No boats on Sunday. <laughs> a fun fact. Uh, let's see. Well, um, this is gonna be like half fun fact, half story. So like, my uh, I had this physics teacher back in high school, right? And he told me the story about his old roommate that was a serious alcoholic. But the scary thing was, he was a highly intelligent alcoholic as well. Um, on the day after Halloween, he went around and he collected as many pumpkins as he could. And he filled up a burlap sack with them and buried it for the winter. And uh, come the spring, when he dug up the burlap sack and he pressed it for the, uh, the fluids, he had a nice pumpkin brandy waiting for him come in the uh, springtime. So yeah, you can uh, you can make alcohol basically out of any kind of veggie like that. Whether or not it turns out well is another um, another story, but yeah. <laughs> Time to become an alcoholic. Um, I do not endorse that life choice, but uh, you know you do you boo. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Power does not have a moral. Hey mom, I stole uh, a professor's Pokemon today. Yeah, I've heard he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. He's not that intimidating, he just looks like he looks like a Stoutland. It's that big mustache. Or a herdier. Alright. We're off to the races. Yeah. Go visit Rowan. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't getting too far ahead of myself there. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. We gotta go up and through. Alright, there's Dawn. And we're about to get our, uh... We're about to lock things in. Oh! The speedy boy already beat me here. Uh, I've been waiting so long for this. This was the only silver lining to Endwalker getting delayed. Would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I would. Alright. I'm really feeling Titan. I'm gonna name him Titan. Actually, no. Guy. Gaia? No. I'm gonna name him Sephi. As in, like, Sephiroth from uh, 14. Despite it being your first time, from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I like to entrust you with Turtwig. I'm so glad you are kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I have to say, oh, I just can't say it. Well, what's the matter, Don? <laughs> it's okay to say you don't like animal abusers. That's not a hot take, Don. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. The musings of an old man. I 
All right, we're off. Actually, not quite yet. She needs to give us our balls still. Okay, follow me. All right, quick little tour of the town. I'm trying to decide the Pokemon Center looks more orange to me than red. But I'm also red green colorblind, so uh, maybe I'm a little bit off on that one. I mean, you travel pretty far, I think. Okay. Ba ba ba. Get all, let's get patched up real quick. We'll continue right on our way. Oh, Don's going to show me how to catch Pokemon. And then we can go and figure out what we're going to get. Dawn, come on. Fine. I really wanted to just get the balls, but I guess we're uh, we're running uh, running back and forth. Basically doing the beep test. Oh, that was miserable back in the day. I think I'd usually fall out around level six or seven. Back in high school, doing that shit. Alrighty, you obtained the guidebook. All right, plus you're not alone. Bum bum bum, I'll be all right by myself, dear, so you go on and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught. And with that, she will never see me again. Please take this to Zach for me. A parcel. Getting something important. Oh, you're gonna make me put my hat on. Okay, it's fine. I was kind of liking not having a hat. Oh. If only we had Pokeballs. We don't have Pokeballs, right? Yeah, no. All right, well, we'll, we'll slap this thing around. You know, take care of business. keep growling at me if it wants, but it's not doing it any favors, you know? There we go. That's one thing I've always found funny is just how, uh, how janked up the, uh, AI can be. Good old bit of. Nintendo really knows when, uh, 
when something's like loved as a meme. Like, I don't know if anyone saw the uh, stuff they were doing with Fidoff over the uh, summer, but they had like uh, an entire campaign dedicated to Fidoff. They even had a bit of day dedicated to it in uh, Pokemon Go. Leafage. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, do I take any damage yet? I don't think I have a single chip of damage. I'm good. Uh, we gotta do that, though. The suffering is locked in. Actually, what are our window options here? Just seeing what they got. Oh, they got all, like, the old... The old ones from the uh, OG DS. That's a nice touch. Oh, I, I want to do the uh, speed as well. One last time into the menus. There we go. Alright, perfect. Alright, time to get our balls. And with this, the Nuzlocke will be officially started. Oh my god! James, you out here just wilding, man. Thank you for them subs! Bro, we got paid, let's go. <laughs> I mean, like... Can't, can't complain, but like, damn, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll get officially paid myself. Ba, 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 ba. Plus, it helped me get closer to the tell me a story thing. Oh, you just want more stories, huh? I'm a scriber, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Alright, there we go, we got our balls. The run has officially begun. Yeah, I've been thinking I want to get more, uh, especially the one where you locked eyes with the dude shitting in the bushes. Very true. Uh. Alright, so we got our balls. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit. And, uh,. Yeah, we're going to backtrack, we're going to start at the lake and work our way across. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, so, our first pick, the first draft in the uh, 2021 Pokemon Brilliant Diamond draft is... Uh, Starly. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Give it a tackle. Uh, give it a second tackle. Then we'll ball it, and that should be that.
Oh, that scared me. So, like, I used the Pokeball shortcut, but I was expecting it to ask before it, like, did it. So I was like, oh no, did I just, like, execute this thing? But I did not. Alright. We got a female Starly. What are we naming this? Um... Hmm. I'm feeling, uh, sticking to the Final Fantasy theme. So. We're getting, uh, Garuda here. Yeah, I think I would start with Final Fantasy names and then bran branch out, because I got Final Fantasy on the mind. But also if, also, if something just feels right, then, uh, then it feels right, you know? And Walker in two weeks. Yeah. Oh, man. Could have been today, but... I'd rather them get the game to, like, super high quality instead of rush it out and have Raubon Savage happen again or something, so... Can't complain too much. Alright. Our second uh, draft pick here. What do we get? Budaf. Alright. A little female Bidoof. The best Pokemon in the game. Look at that unmatched charisma. It's safe to give it another tackle. Unless you crit? Are you high rolled? Come on, man. You were even growled. You even had a growl. Come on. Well, I guess uh, no bit of for me. <laughs> we're moving on to the next route. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> and thank you for following, Lala. Run's gone to shit, restart. What bit of? Ah, yeah, what bit of? I didn't even need to go for the hit. I just... I don't know. It doesn't feel right throwing a ball if they're not in the yellow, right? So I thought with a growl it'd be safe. And then it wasn't. All right. Dupe Claws, we try again. We do up to three attempts. Um, but if we chain, uh, if we chain dupes, then the third one we catch. And now we know we only tackle once. We give one tackle and one tackle only. I hope we get a Yeah, Krikatoon would be really fun to have. You know, it's it's that little fiend nature. Okay. Oh wow, it's our first bit of <laughs> Alright, single tackle and then we use a ball. So, we gotta figure out a name for this boy now. Yeah, I'm doing Species Claws, so... But only up to three attempts, so... You know. If it's the same Pokémon after three encounters, then that's the one that you're getting. Uh... Alright, 
Alright, what do we name this boy? I'm gonna name him Mog. Do 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 And it's time for our first trainer battle. How are we gonna treat underground encounters? Um My friend was asking me about that earlier and I was trying to figure out I think one per environment in the underground. I think that's the best way to do it. Because they told me that there's a lot, like... There's like a bunch of different uh, environment options, so... We'll just, uh, we'll use that as the marker. should finish it off. Yeah, they've done a really good job of updating the graphics here, though. I like that you can see Mount Coronet in the background. Always looming. Always watching. Boom, boom. Too strong, too strong. So I'll have to take a look at, um, I'll have to take a look at my stream stuff after the, um, afterward for, um, ah, shit, what's the word I'm looking for? Stream elements, because I switched everything over from Streamlabs. You know, because of all the shenanigans that went on recently. I always found going into their interface really annoying because they're like aggressively pushing uh, selling you stuff whenever you're in there, so. I didn't really have any qualms getting away from them. Oh shit, I don't have any, uh... I don't have potions. I should go back to the, uh, the town after this. It's one of those, I know I'm going to be okay, but I'm still sweating a little bit. Like, just on the off chance that he just randomly crit me and killed my starter out of the gate. Bum, 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 bum. Back to back to town real quick. Oh yeah, I will add one other thing. Um, if we do randomly run into a shiny, it, I consider those to be kind of exempt from uh, from the proceedings. If you catch my drift. Actually reminds me of um, there's this one time my younger brother really did me dirty on uh, the whole shiny Pokemon front. I had um, 
I had a shiny Pidgeot, a shiny Quagsire. I, I think there was something else I had all in the same cartridge. And then he nuked the cartridge because he wanted to start a new game. And he didn't ask me about it ahead of time, so I just lost all that. Sad, sad time. Hello, how can I help you? Uh, potions, please. Yeah, I'll take five. Five to get us started. I guess we should talk to people too. They might give us uh, TMs or whatever random other stuff. That's one unfortunate thing. Uh, the TMs are no longer um, reusable. Oh, 219. I haven't been to 219 yet. No? Oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter because I don't have a fishing rod, so. One day. What's that? Dawn's house. Random dude. Classic single use TMs. Just one of those things, because, like, it's like they wanted to be true to the original, but then they also had a bunch of things that weren't, weren't, like, fully true to the original. So it just ends up feeling like a weird flex that they would, uh, do that. It's like, that's the one you kept? Uh, I feel like she might have potions. Standing out here in the bushes, menacingly. <laughs> Alright. Turtwig's putting in some good work already. potions does that put us at? 15. Holy shit. Okay. So we good. Yeah, we're good for a while now. From what I've seen, it feels most true to the OG remakes they've ever done besides Heart Gold, Soul Silver, plus Platinum quality life stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I think they've adapted some of, like, um... Like, they adapted some of the movesets, too, like... I was watching my roommate play Pearl last night, a little bit. And the, um... You know in the first town with the Abras that are supposed to know Hidden Power? They all know Charge Beam instead. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I can go with lace. <laughs> Posture check. Don't mind if I do. Ah, good crack. Unknown are in this, though? Interesting. Oh yeah, I guess they would have been, because they were in the original. Weird. Where is Fistake? Fistake hasn't made an appearance yet. But he will. Are you catching Pokemon? 
I think you feel a lot more safe. Okay. Yeah, we gotta find a replacement for a stake still. Ah, I gotcha. It's a bit of a weird line that they're trying to tow here in Generation 8. Like, trying to balance that kind of stuff. Let's go pat let's go get patched up first before we uh, continue on. Do 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 All right, so what do we got? Um Yeah, no, we'll we'll stick to that. I'm gonna go fight some children first. Hey nerds, I heard you have abras that don't have hidden power. Very quick boy. Is that... Yeah, okay. Man. Charge Beam is actually such a scary looking move. Like... Just because of the stat boost every time you use it. It almost feels like a threat, you know? Almost. Uh... Yeah, and he'll probably be fine. Oh, I didn't check his nature. A rash nature. Oh, that's kind of disappointing, but we make do. Make do with what we got, right? Alright, how about this kid? Oh no, not another Abra. Neo, how's it going? Don't let me, I'm just geeking out over a Manaphy egg. Yeah. That's actually one of the uh, mythics that I've been missing. Like, I have like a living dex that lives in Pokemon Home. And Manaphy's the one I'm missing. I have a Fion, but I don't have the, uh, I'll call it the adult, but, like, it's kind of like a weird gray area there. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that as well. I won't use it during the run, though. Yeah, I heard it comes from uh, Mystery Gift. Yeah, we're Nuzlocking. We're doing Nuzlocke with a uh, Species Clause. I can try up to three times if I keep getting Pokemon that I own. Or like have a Pokemon in the family already. I 
Uh, but other, And then I have the battle style set to set, so I don't get to have free switches in between the opponent's Pokémon. If it's Chimchar has Ember, I don't want to fight it with Turtwig or all at the moment. Just in case he decides to throw hands with me. Alrighty, town map acquired. Alright, bye! Let's look up topics. Alright, any other freebies? No? Okay. Uh, oh, what's over here? Oh. Apparently nothing. And I should kick rocks. That's fine. Do you know much about Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so been there. Have I talked to these guys yet? All right, you got anything? Any freebies? No, it's just more tutorial. More tutorial jargon. Pokemon trainer, but you don't have Poketech yet. Poketech is short, short for Poke... Pokemon Watch seems like that's not the short form. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? Does Pokemon grow by defeating others? Yes. Uh, some Pokemon... Okay. Oh, you have to find the clowns, and then you trade the coupons in. I remember now. City of Joy. What a pleasant little name for a town. The City of Joy. Well, we're just going to throw that on uh, Turtwig, make up for that slow speed. Now we'll randomly go fast. Whoops. Yeah, swap Pokemon. Boom. Alright, you got anything? No. What an empty room. Alright. How about you? What do you got? Just like Pokemon, do the moves of Pokemon also have types? Why, yes, they do! Really hitting me with a hard hitting questions, right? What's over here? It's a great fishing hole that's almost unknown to people. Old rod. Oh, nice. That's good news. Nah, I don't need any of that. Alright, so we're going to take a second to go backtrack and go fishing down on route, I think it was route 218. Just getting a water type on our team would be a good idea. And the sooner the better. Or 219. 
There we go. Okay. Alrighty, let's roll them dice. What do we get? Uh, I'm gonna lead with Garuda as well. Just in case. We'll save. Yeah. One thing I'm thinking is if the Nuzlocke fails and I'm pretty deep into the game, we'll just play the game out as a normal game from that point. But, um... Oops. I feel like I screwed something up there. Um... But, like, if we fail at, like, Rourke, we'll just wipe the slate clean and go again. There we go. There we go. Please be Magikarp. Yeah, let's go. Go for a single tackle. Alright. We gotta come up with uh Do we give the title of Mistake to Magikarp? That's what I'm feeling. Said to be the world's weakest Pokemon. No one knows why it has managed to survive. Might be the rage-based evolution. Alright. You get to be Fistake. It'll be a long road before Magikarp is, uh up and running, but it'll be well worth it once we hit 20. Carp, carp, carp. Alright. Good stuff. Too bad Matchcarp doesn't learn anything till 15 as well. Like, it's literally just a rock sitting in your party at first. Oh yeah, I did get confirmation as well that um, HMs aren't a thing. Like, the moves are a thing, but um... You don't have to walk around with an HM slave. How early you get a fishing rod? Yeah, it's a really nice touch. Some games make you wait way too long. Yeah, Gen 4 actually is one of my favorite playthroughs of a Pokemon game that I ever did. Uh, so apparently it. It works like the, um... It, it's like you call upon a wild Pokemon to do it for you. Like, you just have, like, this device that you activate, and it makes something in the area work for you. Yeah. Personally, I like that more, because it doesn't force you to use specific uh, things. That was one thing we got lucky on with um, that other Nuzlocke that I was doing. Here, I think... Okay, yeah, 204. I'm hoping for a Badoo. Actually, no. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. Let's go. 
Let's go. Let's go. We got the boy. Oh, we got the girl. <laughs> No. No. Don't you put that on me. Just on the off chance that no Thundershock, we're gonna do a little swap. Alright. Hit it with a tackle. Soar and kill it. You're sick, dude, man. You're sick, dude. Uh, let's do a ball, so just in case we don't high roll it and then kill it again. Oh, I heard the little fun click. Or maybe that's just the noise all balls make now. Nice! Alright, we gotta think of a name. All of its fur dazzles if danger is sensed. It flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. Alright, uh, any lightning themed primals? That's my first thought. Like, we can't name it Ramu. So what are we going to call it? What are we going to call it? Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. I'm going to go with Alessa, the, uh, the electric gym leader from Gen 5. Name after an electric... Ooh, yeah. That's another good option. I was also thinking maybe um, Sophia because she kind of mixed electric and wind as her elements so like that kind of works as well yeah i'm gonna go sophia yeah nice 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 All right, the team's coming together nicely. The only thing I have high hopes for now, in terms of like team building, is getting like a nice, um, nice fire type, and then we got a good core going. I mean, like I said, Magic Carp's gonna be a dud for a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go deal with the last clown. Yes, it can. It can hold an item. Okay, I've got my three coupons, man. I guess I gotta talk to the dude over here. Yeah. One, two, three. Bravo. Imagine if it was this easy to get a smartphone just given to you. <laughs> oh, sorry, smartwatch. Hey, can you go uh, go talk to some random clowns that are just hanging out around town? Alright, here's your smartwatch. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go check out this route a little bit. See if there's any items we can snag. Bum, 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 ba -dum. I forgot I put Starly in front. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, we're good. I'm not doing any level caps, but I'm also not gonna, like, just randomly go and do hardcore grinding to try and get ahead. Just 
play it straight, you know? Look at that. Everyone except Mog. Sefi learn growth. Fistakes level 5. There we go. That was a big battle. Um, yeah, so we'll throw Sefi back up. You can hang out at the bottom there. Let's check out their natures real quick. Quirky. Okay, I like Quirky. It's neutral. We don't have to worry about any weirdness. How about you? Speed down, special defense up. Well, we can't win them all. Fistake's gonna be sassy. That's fine. Ah, oh, look a bit of. He's just vibing. Do 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 do. Truly an icon. Uh, okay, that requires. Oh no, it doesn't require swimming. All right, let's go get that item. The music's actually so good in this. Like, Gen 4 music was really solid, and then they now that they've like remade it, it's just so good. Look at that. With authority. My dad gave me this Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine being a kid. You're like seven or eight years old and you ask your dad to catch you a Pokemon. And he brings you home a Magikarp. Like, could you imagine the level of angst you're gonna end up with? Being like, this is my one Pokemon. This is my... My single... Well, he's got two, so... I guess it's not his only Pokemon. Okay, he's got something else, but still. Dad of the year bringing home a Magikarp. But then the kid's gonna turn into a little monster once it evolves. Could you imagine an eight-year-old running around the Gyarados? I guess we don't have to imagine it, because it actually happens. They're the Pokemon I got from my dad. Oh, sorry, kid. It went from funny to sad real quick. Oh, wild bit of... Again. They really are all over the place in Sinnoh. Trouble you for a battle. Why not? Last Samantha. Oh, I just got Buddy. Alright, so I think we're going to do a switch here because. Not that I'm too threatened by Buddy. Actually, no. What's it going to do? Poison Sting? Oh, okay. A single damage from Absorb. Never mind. I was going to swap to Starly and just wing attack it, but this is fine too. Uh, 
It's only six o'clock and it's already like the dead of the night out there. Ah, oh, there it is. And then Badu just ultimately destroys you. If I got ultimately destroyed by a Badu, I would, uh, I think I would lose any kind of Pokemon license that I own. They'd have to send a time cop back in time to when I was a child and revoke my badges. Alright, Ravage Path. What can we get in here? What's going to be? It's a Zubat. I have no complaints. I like Zubat. Bonk. Alrighty. So, I feel like with Zubats, um, now I've made a friend who Zubats like their favorite Pokemon, I always feel obligated to name them for it, but we're going to get confusing now, because now there's going to be two different Sophias on the team. <laughs> Unless someone has a better recommendation. that down there. Alright, we're locking this in. Let's go! Poor Magikarp. Alright. What kind of nature do we got here? Oh... Ah, that's like a really rough nature to get. Okay, we'll we'll see what we get in down the line. I don't know if that Zubat's staying on the team. We'll see. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I actually really like Starly as well. Like, that's that's one mon that... I don't think I ever actually played with it, but, like, I've always liked it, liked looking at it from afar. Oh, I guess we're uh, doing this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna switch to Sophia. Get the Intimidate. If he is using winning, Wing Attack, we'll just shrug that off. Good stuff. I really like the animation they did for Thundershock. That's really solid stuff. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. Imagine telling someone your own age that, like, calling someone your own age a kid. level 10. We got 
Shimchar. Uh... Yeah, this is fine. Alright, he's going for the Leer. So I'm gonna switch after the Thundershock to uh, Starly. Oh wow, that was a crit. One really cool thing about Starly's line is at the end of it when you have, um, I believe it's uh, Star Raptor, it learns a fighting move. But I don't know if you've ever watched any of the uh, the Pokemon anime over time, but I, I distinctly remember watching uh, one scene where this bird's just going like full combo on another bird in the sky. He's like doing like wing wing back elbows and kicks and stuff and I'm just like, oh my god. What just happened? I lost? Yeah, you did. I'm gonna be the world's toughest trainer and you know it. Alright. Well, we're gonna heal up. And we're gonna see what we can catch on Route 203. Alright, so we're all patched up. We're moving right along. What's going to be? What's going to be? Alright, so we got Dupe Claws. First encounter for the Dupe Claws. Alright, try again. Okay, second encounter for the dupe claws. So the next Pokemon, no matter what it is, we go for. Aw oh, man. <laughs> I'd rather have a second Starly. <laughs> womp womp. Smack that boy up. Bum 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 bum. All right, uh, another female bit of, or I guess this is the first female bit of. Gonna name it Canuck. And you're going to the computer. All right, so let's say we're doing pretty good so far. Bum, 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 bum. I'm full of energy because I get power from my Pokemon. Okay. Youngster Michael. Ugh. Yeah, 
Yeah. Gotta love when Quick Claw activates when it probably wasn't needed. But it's like, hey, I just need to remind you, I'm here too. Based on the Zubat that we caught, we have nothing to worry about. Because they swapped out Leech Life with Absorb. I've always found Zubat's animation be really funny. Like, just, it's flapping its wings so quickly, it looks almost, uh, uh, spastic. You know, like, it's just like. Such high energy flapping. Alright, what else do we got? Trainer tips. I guess we gotta go around. Dun 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 da 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 da. Hey, it's, uh, it's the little guy. Alright. Now, I actually do respect Krikato. Or Krikatot, because, uh, I'm afraid of Bide. Bide isn't something that you want to mess around with. So when you know something has it in its learn set, you just kind of... You want to make sure you're in a position to just rip through it right away. You know, because Nuzlocke things. But nothing bad ever happens during a Nuzlocke. Bum, 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 bum. I'm so glad the music's just such a bop in this game. Like, I'm just like, I really focus in on the bass line in these songs. They're so easy to get into, you know? Don't poison me, please. Thank you. Some of our lower members do some work for a little bit. Or I'm putting them in immense danger for no reason. I'm sure it'll be fine. See, nothing to worry about. It's just a machop. I'll stick it out. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Back in, uh... The first time I did a sword Nuzlocke. Um... Unfortunately, it was before I'd started, like... Properly streaming. But, um... My... I was trying to catch a Machop in the wild area, and it one-shot my starter. I did manage to catch it, 
and then I dragged it along as the main party member. I was like, okay, you killed my starter, so you're gonna be my starter now. I named him Shinji because he wouldn't get in the ball, so I just kept repeating, get in the ball, Shinji. And eventually it worked out. I actually haven't watched Evangelion yet. It's been on my list for so long. I know it's one of those classics that a lot of people love. Uh, well, so, oh, excuse me. But I also hear, um... Uh, da 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 Like, it, you have to make sure you're watching the right version. Because depending on where they're hosting it, it's got some really, really janky decisions that they made. Oh, I lost. La la la. A wild Shinx appeared. Alright, well, let's bail out of this fight. Nah, we'll tackle. May as well. Win in Rome. And every bit of experience counts for Magic Harp. Our lovely ticking time bomb for the future. Shit. They actually gave a bit of the the one two combo. Oh wow, he's got speed up as well. And simple? Wow, okay. Yeah, so defense curl will roll out. Um defense curl will double the uh, power of rollout so that the damage stacks really, really quickly. That mouse will end up uh, just absolutely ruining people. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put her twig back out front though. God Poketech, you're still a pretty new trainer, but it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. You obtained TM98s. I wonder how many you just gave me. Rock Smash, okay. Use Rock Smash from your Poketech, and a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders on your path. Uh, but to use this hidden move in the field, you'll first need the Gym Badge from Orberg. Cool. This is, uh... Oh yeah, another opportunity to catch. Orberg Gate. So what's it gonna be? Oh, another Zubat. Okay, why not? Oh wait, Duplaz. Duplaz first. I, I, I'm going to have to keep reminding myself of that one. Okay, so attempt two. Geodude, there we go. I will not destroy him using a grass attack. I will not destroy him using a grass attack. Uh, I think we only have tackle as an option, so... Really? Sandstorm? At this level? 
I guess suit yourself. Yes. Go for another tackle and then we'll start throwing balls. Diamond copy. Welcome to the party. Alright. I feel like Titan's an easy pick for this one. And we'll send Zubat. Alright, what you got? What you got? Adamant nature. Aw, oh, beautiful. Have no fear, Geodude is here. If it gets to a decent level 2, I can teach it Rock Smash and then use it in the gym battle pretty safely. Yeah. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna give Titan his debut, uh, debut battle here. So, <laughs> I was just thinking about, um, you know how, so like, Shinx is just like full-on headbutting a, uh, a rock right now. And I was just thinking, like, that must hurt a lot. And I was like, I've experienced how bad that hurts. Because, um... Oh, well, maybe not head first, but... Um... So, in my neighborhood... <laughs> this will sound pretty stupid. But, uh... So, like, there's... At the local park... There's a big rock. It's about as tall as I am. And... We were, um, we were having what we were called, we called it Friendsgiving, so we had a bunch of friends over, and, uh, I decided I would try to climb the rock when we all went out after dinner to hang out. Uh, so I got a running start, and I tried to jump, so I would kind of, like, land on the flat part of the rock and be up in, like, one fluid motion. And I screwed up, but I ended up just doing, like, a knee drop on the rock instead. And oh boy, did that that stung pretty badly. Not one of my finer moments. Start there with uh, it's so like you know how you make snowmen in the winter. So uh, we had built one in the backyard when I was in high school. But, like, it had rained, and then it melted, and it refroze, so this thing was just, like, it's like a giant ice hunk. Uh, and one day, I just, my high schooler brain just said, hey, you know what? You need to football tackle the snowman. Put it out of its misery. It's not looking so good. So, like, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to tackle this snowman. So I ran full steam ahead at it. I tried like a shoulder tackle with wrapping the arms around it kind of thing. But the thing was solid. So like I just hit it. It cracked and fell. But I <laughs> But it hit me back just as hard. <laughs> Trying to look down on you like you're a total noob. Man. This kid though? Mouthing off to random trainers as they pass by. Uh, 
I want to heal before I do anything to do with my rival. Three, four, five, six. Wait, did I did I read that right? If you'd like to change your appearance for the union oh union room. Now we'll worry about that later. Ahead, there's a huge mountain that towers above everything. It divides Sinnoh into two distinct halves. So, mining museum, a random little house. All right, let's let's see. What do you got? I always have a rod in time trying to decide which Pokemon moves. Okay. Trained in the Orberg mine. I mean, I probably will. Oh, a great ball, nice. For when we need a little extra mustard. What do you do? The whole system of taking coal out of the mine is automated. There's nothing backbreaking about it. Wouldn't that be convenient? in here what do we got going on in here I like how lumpy they are some of the text in this game is just so funny like could you imagine just like hanging out with someone and you're like oh, I just love how lumpy rock Pokemon are There's some pretty iconic sayings, though, like... Would you be willing to trade your Machop for my Abra? Well, I would, but I can't. Because that'd be pretty sweet to get my hands on an Abra. Alright, what else do we got? Wait. How about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? I can do that! I have a Zubat! I can actually do this! Yeah! That reminds me of a story from uh, my dad, actually. So when he was a kid... Because um, I guess when you were a kid in the 60s... Um, Sometimes you just throw crab apples at each other, right? So he, um... He and his buddies were having a crab apple fight. And one of his friends ran out of crab apples, so he started throwing rocks. And he split my dad's head wide open. And it was like a whole thing where his brother beat the kid up, and he had to get stitches, and the whole nine yards. Alright, we got a heal ball. Ran out of apples? Throw, <laughs> throw rocks. Be a man. Go through something traumatic? Just ignore it. Be a man. <laughs> I actually love that, um, like, all those memes that are just so self-aware. Like, that guy's so funny. What a 
What, like, a lively town, though. I love the music here. Yeah, that's where I see him, too. He always just scrolls through all my TikTok. Are you catching Pokemon? Take this. A Dusk Ball. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. He named our Psyduck yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic. You know, stay on your king shit, man. Don't don't let her drag you down. If you want to name your Psyduck yellow, name it yellow. The liveliness in towns and just overall filler. Yeah, it it honestly felt like they tried um it was like they ran out of time. They're like, oh shit, we gotta rush this out. Oh, we've already been in here. Hello, Arrival. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. I've come to speak with you again. Oops. Do, 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 do. Alright. Let's see. Head on down to the Orberg Mine. Everyone's proud of the mine. Well, if I was playing Satisfactory and it wasn't destroying the environment, I'd be pretty happy too. Bum bum ba dum bum ba dum. One game I want to play in the near future, if I have, um, depending on how long it takes to get through Diamond, but, like, I still have time before Endwalker, I want to play Reseteer. Um, even if it's just, like, a one-off, because <clears throat> it's just such a funny game. You play as, like, this little girl whose dad is a deadbeat. Um, so you're forced into child labor to pay for your debts or you lose your home. <laughs> um, you run an item shop. Oh, what do we get? Onyx? Okay, well, we get to catch an onyx. Uh, this might take a while, so if someone wants to start thinking of a name, I would not be opposed. is such a sad Pokemon when you think about it. Because he, um... Or... Their whole thing is like... They have really, really high defense. That's the only thing they have going for them. I believe their attack is equal to Joltik. Which is like a small, small little electric gnat. Personally, CBT. <laughs> you were on it. Alright, this Onyx will be known as CBT.
Holy shit, that's funny. Wants to learn Razor Leaf. Let's go. <laughs> All right. When it travels underground, it causes rumbling and tremors. It can move at 50 miles per hour. Female Onyx name C B T. Um, we'll probably drop Mog. Just to have it in the party for a little while, right? Like... Fuck. Actually hilarious. Meet CBT the Onyx. It's serious. It's serious about CBT. throw a smackdown so yeah it'll have smackdown bind been lurking because in class it's even better that it's a female <laughs> yeah do not fuck with the onyx but yeah um when it comes to trade evolutions i actually have no problem um I know, like, some people might think it's, uh, out of sport. So, can you make CBT into a harder thing into Steelix? Yes, but I need to get a metal coat. Code and trade. Yeah, Steelix is a trade evolution. Yeah, so hypothetically, if I had a friend to trade with, I have no problem doing trade evolutions during a Nuzlocke. I don't see any problem with it. Now, if I was trading to get new Pokemon to get around the Nuzlocke, that's a problem. But if it's just to evolve something, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Some people are purists and take issue, but that's not me. I've met these Machop on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. I'll let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Dude. You can't just bring your cat to work. Actually, back when I worked at the, uh, the nondescript car factory, um, one of the buildings that I worked in had a, uh, had a cat that lived in the plant, and the workers actually had a secret, like, they had a big bag of cat food they kept in a locker, and they'd fill the bowl up at the start of every shift. So, like, there's just this cat that was eating like a king hidden inside the plant. <laughs> it's actually kind of wholesome when you think about it. Like, just all these gruff factory workers, and they're, they're like, no, no, the cat must eat. <laughs> uh, we'll drop rock polish. No, we'll drop Sandstorm. Alright, 
there's Rourke. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hit and move rock smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. You could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Weird flex, Rourke. Weird flex. That generally just felt like weird behavior. Alright, Geodude versus, uh, Sephi. A part of me wants to try doing the rollout strat against Rourke instead of just, like, blowing through him with Turtwig. Wants to learn Bite. Let's go. We'll keep Tackle for now, we'll get rid of Leer. And then we got uh, CBT's cousin over here. Bah. 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 this Zubat. Oh, yeah. uh, I have another note for the future. Um, so I'm aware that there is actually um, there's a few freebies that they give out and Obviously, I don't want to, like, I'll feel like I've completely broken the Nuzlocke if I use some of them, because it's, like, it's honestly, like, one that's not fucking around. It's Jirachi. Like, they just give you a Jirachi if you have, a uh, Sword and Shield data on your Switch. It'd be really fantastic if I hit the uh, Quick Claw here. Ah, uh, I just thought it'd be really funny if Geodude like buffed up, and then like the buff was completely negated by the item. say we're about ready for the gym. I don't want to over level for it so we're just gonna we're gonna go uh, heal up and then head on in to fight Rourke. I'm actually gonna teach Geodude uh, Rock Smash as well. I'm going to teach it to... Yeah, Geodude. Uh, I'll get you to forget Tackle? Yeah. There we go.
CBT gonna learn a smash move. You know, now that you've said that, I feel almost obligated. CBT gonna learn to smash. Oh my god. This is kind of cursed, but look at look at the move set that we got going here. <laughs> CBT knows bind. Rock Smash, Smackdown, and Rock Polish. <laughs> uh, is this okay? <laughs> is that legal? CBT is here for a good time, not a long time. So we're gonna get the most we can out of it. Yeah, so we'll heal up again. <gasps> oh, excuse me. First thing I want to do actually is show you the Titan rollout strat here. Have you going better than overdraw? Better than overdraw? Better than overdraw? <laughs> Geodude against Geodude. Mill tank flashback intensifies. Yeah, but this is gonna be worse than mill tank because it does double damage. There is no god. I know it doesn't look impressive, but it's because it's uh, resistant to it uh, on the ground front. If this goes as I'm thinking it will, then it seems to be. There it is. It's just escalating and escalating and escalating. And then his, his final Pokemon's gonna get one shot. His final Pokemon would have been one shot. We'll use we'll use CBT in the next battle. Smash that rock. Yeah. <laughs> Squeeze by CPT. Oh no. Oh no.
Oh, this this is hilariously cursed. Unbelievable. Good call on this one. Good call. Oh my god. And it's down. Cool. Oh. Snake fight. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, Discovery Channel shit now. Two snakes just like trying to constrict each other. Man, they're so good at, like, building a... Fuck. It's so good. The trainer theme is actually just so good in this. The way it builds. They give you a brief moment of calm and then it just starts building again and building and building. They put in some impressive work. It's such a meme, I love it. It's actually so funny how much of a meme that is. Alright. But, memes aside, it's time to, uh, time to get serious to take on the, uh, final... Take on the gym leader. So... Here's what I'm thinking. Because I I know he has something called a uh, Cranidos, which is a Pokemon that has deceptively high attack. Um, So I do want to lead with Turtwig, uh, and if shit starts going bad, like, if we're kind of like going up shit creek and Turtwig's gonna die, we switch out to CBT. Because it can take the hits. Hello, Rourke. Oh. Did you guys notice the horns just kick in there? Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'm actually gonna open with withdraw. for the Razor Leaf. Hmm. You love to see it. Garuda wants to learn Double Team. Why not? Get rid of Growl. Next we got Onyx. Onyx, the big soft boy, we're gonna pop another withdraw. Uh, we'll go three withdraws. I'm really respecting his final Pokemon. Twigs cracked. Pops quick. Quark. Blah, blah, blah. Pops the uh, the quick clot anytime it needs it. What a tiny little Chad he is. even take damage. Hitting crits left and right? Oh my god, you're a monster. You are a tall little... You're a tiny tyrant. Titan wants to learn Harden. Nah. Do you think you can take down the next Pokemon like the other ones? Yes. Actually, you really like my chances now. Oh, he's gonna try and take off all my defense boosts. Sorry, Rourke. That shit's not gonna fly. No way, not yet. Not giving up. Uh, it doesn't matter if you give up or not, because you still lose. Can't be my buffed up Pokemon. Uh, you gotta spend some more time shining them stones, buddy. We got our badge. Let's go. TM 76s. You know, I do like that they give us, like, three. It's like, that part's kind of nice. It's kind of cool that they do that. Alright. Leader one down. Let's go uh, get patched up. We'll start making our way back to, I believe, Juby Life, and then we head north. Show team. Yes, brother. Hello, Crass. So we got Seppi the Turtwig. Got a rash nature, unfortunately. 
We got Titan, the Geo Dude, Adamant Nature, Sturdy. Geo Dude's uh, very much on the king shit right now. We got Sophia the Lit, uh, Shinx, Quirky Nature, Intimidate, which is pretty nice. We got Garuda the Starly, another rash one. We got CBT. I didn't know this came out. Oops. Yeah, it came out today. CBT the Onyx. <laughs> and then we got Magikarp as Fistake brewing in the back. Unfortunately, it's sassy, but here we are. Yeah, I let, uh, I have a point redeem where people can pay to name the Pokemon that I'm currently catching. And, uh, that's how CBT came to be. Bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum. Uh, is there anything else? No. We'll just head back now. Oh, hello. I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughened them up so it wasn't a waste. <laughs> the auto mod's like, are you sure you want to let that through? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not wrong. A Pokemon theme uh, sex shop sounds like both a. Uh, a nightmare and a nightmare. Alright. So, uh, let's see what we catch. Uh, it's full price game, so 79. Alright, uh, dupe claws. So let's try again. Have fun playing like the Legos. Uh, it appears I will be borrowing this then. Uh, you will have to come to my house to play it because I bought it digitally. Ah, there we go. It's your boy, Machop. Alright, level... Z, 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 yeah. I know, disappointing. Alright, we gotta figure out a name for Machop. I think if no one... If no one redeems, I'm going to call him Gilgamesh. Because I'm just thinking, like, in Final Fantasy, you got Gilgamesh, he loves to fight. Machop's a fighting type. Chop a nickname. Gilgamesh. And we're gonna add him to the party. Uh, CBT, you're good for the memes. Oh, 
Oh shit! It came with a focus band. That's pretty nice. Quirky nature, guts. Guts is really nice to have. For those not in the know, guts will, um... If your Pokémon has, like, poison or paralysis or a burn, it'll double its attack stat. You know, this is feeling like a very Soren team, you know? Like... The team's very much kind of fitting my aesthetic right now, and I'm I'm here for it. <laughs> that magic harp. Even the magic harp, James. Even the magic harp. Give Geo dude some time in the sun. We out here, we fighting other Geodudes. We having rocky... Rocky slap fights. So I'm gonna switch to Machop and finish it off with a low kick. Speedy, speedy boy. But it's not gonna help him. Nice. So that's one thing I do like about the EXP share. It's only, like, a fraction that your team gets uh, if they're not battling. So, like, it's not like it's a free-for-all where you can just throw everything on your front runner. Team Galactic. Where did you get your haircuts? In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. That's real messed up. Give us your research, or we're going to attack this little girl. Team Galactic's actually just so scummy. for rollout. Holy shit, Pip-Plop. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. There's like a flash of panic in my mind for a second that uh, Zubat's Absorb might actually be able to take out Titan, but... It's all in my imagination. Team Galactic's theme is a is a banger as well. Gilgamesh learned revenge. You love to see it. That feels like an early evolution, but I'll take it.
Was that just now that was amazing those guys looked awfully scary but you sure showed them woo that was like a breath of fresh air my name's BB and I work as a system admin in Hart home city okay you can now use the capsule decoration feature well, I guess we ought to get a little fashionable here Ball capsules. Alright, what do we got? Party sticker. Stone sticker C. Small. Ah, uh, oh, I see. keep placing some stickers on there. Make it so that those are falling. And then we'll also add some uh, some smoke. There we go. Select Pokemon. Titan, you get to be decked out. Because the only theming we have is rock theming. Actually, uh, should I heal? I probably don't need to, but... Better safe than sorry, right? Especially in a Nuzlocke where everything can go to shit very quickly. Easy. Letting my uh, letting my chair let me lean back. My model doesn't seem to like it much though. I'm just gonna fix that positioning real quick. There we go. Bomb bomb. There we go. The program doesn't know what to do with me now that I'm laying down on my chair. Just look. <laughs> the eyes, the eyes, they don't know. They don't know what to do. Oh, I actually wasn't paying attention. I missed the, uh, I missed the stylish intro. check the other way first. Oh hey look it's a bit of He said hello Hey Rock Tomb nice Two Pokemon I would, I would describe as uh, in the oven, so to speak. 
I'm actually going to start putting a Fistake up front to escalate how quickly it's leveling. You found an awakening. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. Yeah, sounds good. Why not? Aroma Lady Taylor. But she, like, spelt Taylor in the worst way possible. Look at my boy! Oh, I'm so glad that <laughs> you gave my bird anxiety. What kind of cursed little munchkin are you? Get out of here. since I've seen uh, one of these. Time to die. One ea dag Band. And hydrate. Uh, water not? Nope. Okay. I actually need to grab a drink. So I'm going to be bot status deleted. Delete, delete. Right, I'm gonna take a quick minute to go grab a drink. I'll be right back.
I am back. <laughs> Not allowed. I am back and I'm hydrated. Alright. So. Uh, bug catcher boy running around like a fool. Reorganize a little bit here. Say, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? Well, unless you're my brother, I'm gonna tell you that they suck a little bit. There are some good bug Pokemon. In fact, there are even some great bug Pokemon. But overall, <laughs> bug Pokemon are not good. Bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum bum. Unless you're my brother. Um, my reason for that is my brother is. You know how people kind of like. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like a lot of people pick a Pokemon type that they kind of gravitate to. So, like, for me, it's ground types. My brother, he gravitates to bug types. And he knows them very well. Like, I've seen him go on competitive ladders with a team of only bug Pokemon and consistently win. Like, he's an absolute gremlin when it comes to uh, team building. So it's almost like you gotta be... Uh, it's like you gotta have a license to be good at bug Pokemon. Uh, that next fight's a Pachirisu, I believe. So we'll do this. Two Pachirisu. So Crass would be the bug gym leader. Yeah. I'd almost say Crass would be the bug elite four. Like. Yeah. He understands this game far more than I do. And people look at me as the Pokemon guy. Four of his Pokemon reach an elite. Two of them just benched. <laughs> you gotta protect your children, you know? Speaking of, uh, elites, have you guys ever heard about Seijin Park and his Pachirisu? So, basically, um, a long time ago, and by long, I think it was like five years ago, five or six years ago, um, there's this guy from Korea who was at the Pokemon World Championships. And you know how in competitive games there's always a meta. Generally people are using the same the same kind of stuff. It might be in different orders, different combinations, but usually there's a rhyme and reason to what people are doing. So Sage and Park did something very out there. He he made a very off meta pick. And he brought a Pachirisu, that little electric squir squirrel, to the World Championships. It was a it was a uh, supporter that he used to protect his um, 
a lot of different Pokemon on his team that needed a turn to set up. And it caught so many people off guard and it worked so well that he made Pachirisu like a notorious like it was a notorious moment in like competitive Pokemon history. So now anyone that knows when they see um when they see a Pachirisu they uh, pop off because they're just like it's because they know. And when you know, you know. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's got a really good speed stat. And he is packing it with Nuzzle, which is an auto par paralysis. Uh, Super Fang, which allowed him to um, have the health of any Pokemon it hit. Follow me to protect. The um, protect Garchomp was the main thing it was uh, paired with. Channeling Waka with all those you know as you know. Well, sometimes you know, you know. Ooh, this bit up's going to the Shadow Realm. They're in Floroma Town. Hello. Sorry, gonna start giving hate speeches about Albed and suck at Blitzball <laughs> until a literal dream saves the day. <laughs> Remember when people thought that Blitzball was going to be added to 14? Not that it's not possible. I just don't think it's very likely. Look at this little guy! So this is actually like the Mew of Gen 3 and they just give it to you. It's kind of insane. Oh yeah, I know. I hope they do. I hope they do add it. They just have to make sure they implement it well. Because, like, and not do it like they did, um... Fuck, what's it called? Let's pull water before every match and never actually play it. <laughs> Just know that the stars are swimming on it. Man, that's cursed. Oh, wait, what? I didn't know that I would get a Mew out of this, too. Holy shit. I think it's because... Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. Holy shit. I knew about the Jirachi. I didn't know Mew. I didn't know Mew was going to be a thing. What the fuck? Hello, Sophia. Welcome, welcome. Um, well, I just got exposed in 4K for uh, having both. Yeah, I have Sword and Shield, and I just got exposed for it. Oh, man. <laughs> I've got one... It's funny, I can say it. I have one Zubat with your name on it. But um. Ta-da! <laughs> so, if something terrible happens to my uh, Staravia, you'll be joining the team as the flying. <laughs> Go zoom zoom! Yeah. I do love, uh... I love Zubat, I love Crobat. Golbat, eh, I could leave Golbat, but, um, 
Um, bu -bu -bu. Since I used it so much in the last Nuzlocke, it's going to be more of a backup plan. Golbat's happy to see me. Yeah, yeah, that, I guess that's fair, and I kind of feel bad for being put off by his massive tongue. <laughs> Do you remember, um, Pokemon Stadium? When they first, like, did all the 3D models? Just let him give you a lick, homie. That's some, uh, toxic licks, though. Yeah, Stadium was a good time. Um, I just remember his animations from that. <laughs> He's always just folded up on himself. Oh shit, I don't want to... Oh, I want to plant an orange berry. Oh well. Say la vie. I played those mini games in uh, Stadium for... S just hours and hours. I remember, uh... Like, my friends from down the street would come over, and they would just, uh... We'd just sit down there and just four-player mayhem. Oh my... <laughs> the sushi-eating Lickitung game. Oh my god, yeah. I think that one and the Ratatat race were two of my favorites. Actually, and the Magikarp jump. They were all good. They were actually all good. Except for the Clefairy. Well, the Clefairy one was good, it was just hard. Oh yeah, just bludgeoning you for losing. <laughs> Alright, Route 205. Uh, we get to catch new Pokemon. Alright, what do we got? What's in here? Chesto berries. Oh, the plants look so nice in this. Like, the uh, Chesto berry plant looked like an actual, like, dreamscape. Plant an orange berry. And. Yeah, we'll go Chesto Berry. Hello, help, help, trainer. Can you get my papa for me? Uh oh. Like. Okay. Um, Valley Windworks is different from Route 205. Let's, let's deal with the, uh, the guy up front first. Alright, so we got our potion. And we're gonna throw down. Man, Galactic's theme is so good. Go, the steak. <laughs> we'll go with uh, Geo Dude here. Get that, re get the resistance on the switch. Bum. Oh, hey, Canner. How's it going? Uh... I used like five honeys on five trees. Did you get everything you wanted? Oh! So you're about to start doing your pulls. Holy shit, dude. Nice.
when I eventually catch up to you, we'll, we'll have to have a little battle. See how our teams turned out. How's the lock life? Actually, the lock life's treating me pretty well. Like, got a pretty good team going so far. Uh, nothing terrible's happened yet, knock on wood. I wish you could turn off modern experience share. I'm okay with it. Mars incoming. That's fine. It's just Mars. Uh, I love me some experience share. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Um... I believe I need to go talk to the... Or, I guess talking's a loose term. Oh. Fine. Be that way. Did you know pokes in the underground cave can have egg moves? Because I didn't. Yeah, that's news to me. Cynthia will be the urn ender. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably end the run realistically. But if there is someone to end my run, you know, Sophia would be a legit person to take it out. There's no shame in dying to Sophia, that's what I'm trying- or, Cynthia. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's bad. I see it as a mark of, uh... Naming your rival after me is a- it's a mark of, um... Recognition. We're gonna go for the defense scroll rollout. Ba 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 bum 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 bum. They're both really good rivals too. Time to one-shot the Silcoon. Caught Heracross with a quick ball. Got an email for pre-ordering with 12 free ones. Oh, that's nice. I pre-ordered and didn't get an email. I must have not set it up properly. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, we got a Zubat against... Right, I forgot. I've been leading with... <laughs> with Magikarp. Alright, uh... We'll use our Electrical Sophia here. Yeah, it's a fun little touch being able to decorate your balls. The lady next to you give you a Mew if you have... Oh, it's Let's Go Data. Oh, okay. I actually have a physical copy of uh, Let's Go Eevee if you want to borrow it so that you can get yourself a Mew. Jirachi for Sword, Shield, yeah. 
Alright, instead of low kick, we'll take low sweep. Actually, we'll, we'll dump Leer. Machop's just gonna be walking around knowing literally only fighting moves. <gasps> it's time! The boy! I mean, the girl! <laughs> Here comes the girl! There she is! Hello, girl! Now to somehow catch my level 6 hair across up to the rest of the party. Um, get hustling. The works key. Thanks, old man, for giving me this random key. I mean, that's, that's a fair criticism. Quiet-natured Heracross. Oh. Well, disappointing, but it be what it be. Good on that front, my friend. How far in are you, uh, Connor? Two gems just went down cycling road. Nice. I'm actually not going to try to catch anything yet, because I know Drifloon actually spawns in there after you clear the Windworks. So I'm going to try holding out to get a uh, Drifloon. Oh, not till next Friday? Oh, well, in that case... I'll hold off till after, just in case. Unless you already tested it. Sorry, but you have to do the quest line. Oh. Uh, that's annoying. Alright, well, in that case, we'll do the catch now. Alright. What's gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's a cutie! Look at this thing. You kill it. No, no, capture. You spelled capture wrong, Connor. Yeah, I can learn Nuzzle. I can't believe you would disrespect Sage and Park like that. Nice. Because he clowned everyone at that tourney. <laughs> I'd be 11 out of 10 mad if I lost to a Pachirisu team. Well, <clears throat> have you ever watched the video that, uh, that Wolfie made about the uh, tournament where Pachirisu ran wild? 
Because, like, it's not like Pachirisu was crushing everything. It was just, it was a very effective support for... It fit exactly everything that he needed. Alright, we'll put Fistake back out front. Slowly Magikarp's get in there. Actually, I don't know if I want to screw around if Mars is in there. Hey, Cruel. How's it going? What? No way, you have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this, after all. There's no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Yeah, you do. Okay, let's, uh, let's throw... I don't know why, but I was expecting to fight her right away, so we'll just do that. Gotta get Magikarp that sweet, sweet experience. Uh, I should teach Machop Rock Tomb. I feel like that'd be a good idea. How far, like, do you have your first badge, Chris? Time to get rid of Team Galactic. Yeah, time to, <laughs> time for them to pack it in. They can either go quietly or, uh, or I can just clown on them with Geodude. Sure, I saw both of you on and off today. Okay. So like if you were to like take a guess at how much time how far back I needed a mental health day off work today. Yeah, that's fair. It's been I think you're you've been uh getting worked pretty hard over there. Oh, hydrate time. <sighs> and a posture check. Look at you guys trying to take care of me. Ah, good crack. Stretch that back. You know, I think moving Team Galactic into 3D was an improvement on their design. Good crack phrasing. <laughs> I said what I said, Kroll. <laughs> I'm committed now. That was a good crack. <laughs> I would like to receive one good crack. Mm. 
Why'd you hold back from it? I thought about picking Chimchar because I'm pretty sure he's the best pick for a Nuzlocke. Like, Infernape's just so good. <laughs> At least he evolves kind of early. Hello, Mars. Alright. Avoided the attack. Good. Defense curl. Then we're going into rollout. But all three cinema starters are solid. There's no real wrong choice. Yeah, I went Turtwig as well. I usually pick... Oh! Okay, no, it's fine. Ah, uh, it's not fine. Okay, uh... I don't want to leave Geodude in on a rollout after getting hit twice by something like that, so we'll do a switch. Thundershock. I love the animation for Thundershock in this. It looks so good. Oh wow, she had U-turn? What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? <laughs> I like that, it, since they did make it, make them expendables, they at least give multiple copies. I do like that part. But I could have, uh, I would have happily kept the infinite use. Thief. Ooh, that hit a little, oh, it was a crit. I see, I see. Go for an Intimidate. Drop its attack. Oh, shit. She's ready for me to... You're a jerk, Mars. We'll Thundershock. Sephi wants... Oh, Titan wants to learn Rock Throw. Um... Okay, so do we go Rock Throw or Rollout? I actually like the Defense Curl Rollout combo. I'll drop Rock Polish because I'm never going to use it. Until we get Magnitude. Yeah. And Curse. Now we'll get rid, of, get rid of Withdraw for Curse. Switch to Titan, take the hit, switch back to Sophia, get the drop. Um, and then switch to Gilgamesh.
feeling snacky. Yeah, I've actually got a... Uh, I got a bag of goldfish here. I invested in goldfish as my snack of choice. A very adult choice of you. Hey, you know what? Those... the children? The children know what's up, man. Oh yeah, you might want to get some uh, food in you, Kroll. Yeah, the goldfish, you know, the little, they're like cheesy crackers. I don't think that's a Canadian thing. You people are eating? How would Fistake feel about you eating those? See, that's part of Fistake's training arc. I want Fistake to really feel the anger, you know? So that he'll evolve into a Gyarados faster. But thank you for uh, bringing Fistake up, because I'm going to switch into Fistake. To, uh... To dip into some experience after I drop her attack stat again. Oh, wait. Quick Claw just got thiefed? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Shit. I played myself there. Alright, I hope I don't regret this. Okay, we're good. Okay. See you when you get back, maybe. I'll still be going. I'll get three attack drops. Ba 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 ba. See how much attention I'm paying. Totally fair. We are all on our own little Pokemon quests right now. Oh no, Perugly. Oh no. Whatever will you do? I really hope it gives me the claw back, because that's going to suck if she gets to keep it. I'll go for low sweep. There we go, look at that. Big gains across the board. This can't be, I lost you, you annoying brat. That's right, Marge, you lost. Now give me my shit back. Then to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sense. There we go. You're stinky, go home and shower. <laughs> it's 
Still as savage as ever, child, right? Kids just know what's up, you know? Alright, so let's get patched up. And we can see what our potential new Pokemon will be. Though I actually quite like her team right now. Like I said before, it's a very Soren team at the moment. Magikarp included in that. Hello, child. Alright, um... I guess we'll lead with... Who's got our lowest attack stat? 34, 32... Uh... Yeah, we'll use Sophia. Ah! Uh, Shello... It'll be a Shellos named Cookie. So we'll hit him with a tackle here. We'll do a second tackle. I doubt we'll repeat the sin of the past, so should be good. kind of nice. A lot of um, eyes watching here and there on the side uh, during the day. And a lot of the uh, Hololive people have been playing um, been playing like Diamond or Pearl today. So I'm glad to see everyone. Like there's just so many people that are hyped for the game. Bum, bum, bum. How about a quick battle before I leave for Eterna Forest? Why not? Ponyta! That... <laughs> I don't know why, but the Ponyta model just seems a little bit off to me. Like, a lot of the models are really good, but the Ponyta? Just something about it. I didn't even notice the blue hooves. I just, I was looking at where the fire meets the head, and the eyes look kind of off. I don't know, something about it just looks, uh, funky. It's not too, too bad. Ooh, posture check. It's just, like, approaching Uncanny Valley, I guess. That really dampened my spirits. Yeah. Well, these things happen, kiddo. Uh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. Excuse me a third time. <laughs> 
just kind of bubbling over here. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Magikarp. Magikarp versus Geodude. That's not going to be a thing. Yeah, it's the return of the steak. We won't have any mistakes this time around. Sent you a cursed picture. No, I'm not sure. There's always room for mistakes. I wouldn't call that cursed, James. That's that's actually quite blessed. I love that. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it up in chat. many variants of Batman in the multiverse, put it that way. Yeah, that's true. Eevee exists in the game and Glaceon and Mistake came out in Gen 4. Yeah, no, you're, you got a good point there. Um... Also, you're a lot more dead on with uh, the Nuzlocke universe lore than I am in the back of my mind. I completely forgot I named Leafeon Mistake. Ah, it's Grottle time, baby! He's so cute. I actually love Grottle. <clears throat> it lives along water and forests. In daytime, it leaves the forest to sunbathe the trees on its shell. Alright, so what's this? X attack. Speaking of Eevee, my favorite description of Eevee without saying its name is brown box cat thing with an identity crisis. You know what? That's extremely accurate. My good boy. My good boy, Sefi. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna throw a potion on uh, on them real quick. Wow, they gave me five stealth rocks? <laughs> That's kind of wild. I guess it's understandable though, but still. Level 14. Yeah, he's slowly making the climb. 
Five for gem leads, three for gifts, one for world spawn. It's ribbons made of flesh. Yeah, that's pretty cursed. Now, do you think it would feel fleshy, or would it just be, like, soft? Like, would it feel like ribbons? Roma Lady Elizabeth sent out Budu. Go for steak. Alright, um... Yeah, Garuda it is. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, uh, don't give... What's the deal with these buddies? They always just pop worry seed. It's actually so rude. How am I Pokemon supposed to get a good night's sleep? This dumb plan out here giving everyone anxiety every night. The stake learn tackle. Let's go. Bum bum bum. Hello, child. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. All right, so we got Geo Dude and the Hero. So, we'll pop a Razor Leaf. Uh, you should have packed Sturdy, buddy. Pokemon live around here, I wonder. Great question. They've really done a good job of rendering all of the Pokemon up. <laughs> yeah, the kid who was emotionally attached to that Geodude is going to tell it to fuck off because it doesn't have sturdy. I'm just saying... If he's upset about losing his battle, he needs to strategize better. He could also invest in having more than one Pokemon than Geodude. This thing's about to get smacked up. He doesn't understand. Maybe that was his first battle ever and you just humiliated him. Good, he needs to take that bad feeling in his stomach and use it as fuel to drive him forward to overcome me. I have become that kid's life goal. He needs to track me down and beat me within an inch of my life with his Geodude. <laughs> he never battled again after Soren bullied him.
Wants to learn Smackdown. Yes. We'll forget Ro Rock Throw for Smackdown. No bully, sorry. Be nice. It almost reminds me of, uh... There's this skit. He grew up, got addicted to alcohol, his family's in tatters. Oh my god. Just, uh... Absolutely tore that child's family apart over a Pokemon battle. Look what you've done, sorry. Did you win? Actions have... When will you learn? When will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Now, I don't know about you all, but, uh... I always think of these berry patches as, uh, take one, leave one, you know? post Soren stress disorder. Oh my god. You know, honestly, I can't even defend myself on this, because, like, all of you have seen me play competitive Pokemon on, like, the ranked ladder, and, like, I get really toxic. I just turn into, like, a, a monster shithead, so, yeah, I can't even deny it. <laughs> I hate what you've become. It all started with that Rhyperior that one day. On a cold winter morning, I faced off against a Rhyperior. And it had a weakness policy. And that was the beginning of the end. What is this plan? This won't do anything. Proceeds to sweep my team. So I sob into my breakfast. <laughs> Anyone who hasn't seen you when you're losing at Smash Bros. Oh, expose me more. <laughs> yeah, you might say I got God on that one. Thundershock for Spark. Having lost this way, the trainer lost the battle too. Girl Kelsey sent out Machop. All right, so we'll switch to Garuda and we'll go for the one shot with wing attack. I just noticed, we're going to have three Intimidates running on the team. Between Staraptor, Gyarados, and Luxray, we're going to be, like, debuffing constantly just by moving around. You're in a different class. Yeah, BB.
there's an item down here, yeah. There we go, super potion. Yeah. Well, look at the way that the rival... <laughs> You, you understand why, though, right? <laughs> Just look at how the rival interacts with you, and you, you get it. I mean, Zack is 100% Tyson. <laughs> Wait, who's Tyson? Do you mean Barry? No, oh, his name's Barry. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sure there is a Tyson in Pokemon. Kind of curious about that now. Pokemon Tyson. He was in Hoenn. Uh, it looks like he's just some random dude. There are a bunch of, like, random- <laughs> You're gaslighting me, aren't you? I'm not gaslighting you. The rival's name's Barry. There are Tysons in the Pokemon anime, but they're all just, like, random side characters. They don't actually do much. So this is the skip. Okay. Hello, bug catcher child. Oh. Is there anything else for me to do up here? Yeah, it's Cheryl time. Ten times more OP now. Yeah. Now that it has disarming voice and stuff. I'm sincerely glad I met you. You just said hi, Cheryl. Calm down. It's got healer. Oh. Yeah, we'll pair up Cheryl. It's okay. Wow, Eterna... Oh, there's the Mossy Rock for Eevee. Oh, right, we get to catch something. I almost forgot. I hope it's a Benary. Mm, yeah, that'd be nice, I think. Aw, oh, man. Alright, uh... I guess the Badoo... Neither of these are exactly good, but... I'll go after Badoo. No chance he stop. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh yeah, that's a good point too. I've already got Grottle. I'm just thinking for future proofing in case I lose something. I couldn't end up with Beauty Fly as well, right? Because it's all nature based. Uh, I think Badoo's the play. Roserade can be pretty powerful. It's based on the nature of the Pokemon. 
I'm pretty sure it's nature based. Oh shit, you know what? I should have uh I should have taken Endeavor there. Oops. Oh, I might be wrong. I'm I'm just it's one of those things where like I'm pretty sure it's that, but like I could be wrong on it too. You never know. I'm sure someone's parsed it out on uh like Cerebi or something. Alright, we need a name for Badoo. Caught two Whirlpools. Got one each. Um, the name Bud. No, that's way too simple. Uh, Oberon. Yeah. Buddy the Elf. <laughs> I made you spaghetti with maple syrup. Finding anagrams? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's kind of funny that all the trainers have paired up in here. It's like, you know, like, everything would be perfectly fine if everyone just stopped, like, forming gangs. And, like, just, like, having gang showdowns in the middle of the woods. Why don't you have mystery gifts? Because I haven't unlocked it yet. I have Mew, I have Jirachi, but, uh, I'm obviously not using those for, uh, when I get Fly, we'll go back for that. I don't want to walk back for that right now. I don't want to go. We're gonna roll out Pachirisu. Manaphy's gonna be there no matter what. It's okay, we're gonna get the Manaphy. We're just not gonna get it right the second, that's all. Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping to, like, get a rollout going where I would just, like, blast through their whole team. But it wasn't meant to be. Patrice down. Ooh, beautiful eye. An excellent target for SmackDown. <laughs> You bonk. Target down, mission accomplished. Bring them on back, boys. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll sweep Fistake through for a little experience bump. 
This idiot bug catcher doesn't metagame. <laughs> See, I was worried for a second because uh, Beautiful I can learn Absorb, I'm pretty sure, can it? So I was expecting to get Absorbed on the Geodude. But then it didn't. I'll swap to Garuda. Pretty sure it only learns Gust on Evolution. Ah, uh, they've kind of adjusted it a bit. That makes sense. Zubat used to learn Leech Life and... Yeah, they've... Well, it's because they made Leech Life a lot better. Leech Life now is base 80 power instead of base 20. So they can't really give that out at the start of the game. Bite is- oh! Wing attack's an egg move? That's kind of surprising. Yeah, that's really odd. Alright. When a trainer in Pokemon Bond is one, a wondrous power is born. Wow, the Psychics? Their theme song is intense. So, we'll switch Magikarp out for Cephy. Bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, ba da dum. I do not fear these Abras. Not in the slightest. I see her defeat psychics. <laughs> yeah. Anyone could have uh, seen this one coming. Don't need any psychic powers for this. Oof. He's like a turret. He's just like a walking turret of a uh, razor leaf. Hmm. It is I that have gone down in defeat. Yeah, you did. What do we got here? Wormple and Venary. Pull out the turret. Let's go. I'm excited to get access to the uh, the little mansion. I want to go see the ghosts, see what I can get out of there. Maybe a ghastly?
My team will end up all trade evolutions if I keep this up. <laughs> Between Geodude and Machop and... Yeah, I've got to clear the gym first, but... We're slowly drifting in that direction. Oops. I didn't mean to trigger that as a single fight, but here we are. Sorry, Cheryl, you can sit there and watch. <laughs> Could Fistake win this fight? Oh, annoying. Don't worry, she queued for healer. It's okay, I don't think she likes battling anyway. Yeah, I think you're right on that one. Just one of those I'm a lover, not a fighter types. Also, hey Kay. I read your message, but your name didn't click right away. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> It's the boy! There goes the boy! <laughs> Time for the other one. Whoops. Time. Here comes the swarm. I'm bringing the heat with my worm pull. Get him. Get him. Good job, Magikarp. Good job. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. Match has got some uh, heap in that little carp belly of his. He's ready to throw down hard. It's dust ox. All right, we'll uh, we'll get out of that. Swap back over to the Geo dude. Oh, that would have been nice. I don't think I can get Mistrevis though. I think uh, it's Murkrow for Diamond. I mean, I would take Murkrow though. That's Murkrow is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, I th yeah, because it only knows tackle, so you couldn't actually hit anything. And then, oh yeah, and then struggle, struggle counts as a, a normal move in that generation as well. Yeah, no, that would that would totally screw things up. Yeah. In my first playthrough of this, um, my team was. Luxray, Honchcrow, uh, I think I had Weavile, um, Lucario, like, it was a pretty out there team. 
Yeah, I, I agree. You should have some dark typing to him. Feels like a missed opportunity. I think if they released Luxray today, it would be an electric dark type. Those that, uh, that have done that, they're really using their head. That actually reminds me, um, you know that GS uh, Chronicles ROM hack I was playing? The, uh, the remix of Heart Gold Soul Silver? They did some interesting stuff with the typings. Uh, they made Ladian uh, bug fighting and boosted its stats up quite a bit to make it like a speedy attacker. And then uh, Ariados was a uh, ghost bug. That was also uh, speedy. Alright, double psychics. Oh yeah, Cheryl heals everyone, so we're good. Yeah, like, when I first caught a Spinarak, I was like, ah, oh, it's, it's Spinarak, he's not going to do much, so I boxed him. But then, uh... When I had to replace, it was a Magneton that had died. I switched, uh, I switched in Spinarak because I noticed its stats, and then I found out that they had actually adjusted the stats on a bunch of Pokemon. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I should use it then. Yeah, I liked Ariados as a kid too. I had this weird thing about if a Pokemon could learn Psychic, it was automatically good to me. Like, that, that was the bar. If it knows Psychic, it's good. Which, uh, bonus points. Um, the first thing I... I really liked Smeargle. Soren was a Psychic... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Hypno was one of my favorite Pokemon as a kid. I don't know what that says about me, but... <laughs> Uh, Zatu was another one to, that I really liked. But yeah, the first thing I would do is I would get a Smeargle, and I would go to the Elite Four, and I'd fight Will. Yeah, I would use Sketch on his first Zatu, and I would save Scum to get Psychic on Smeargle. <laughs> Because it's psychic, and if it's psychic, it's automatically good. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, hey, Zach. Great, but Zach has arrived. Great, Zach's mad. Why are you mad? So I made you. <laughs> yeah, I did. This man. <laughs> it reminds me of you when we were kids. He said he wanted to fight you. Oh no. Don't give him ideas, Connor. He power slammed the shit out of me. And <laughs> Jumped out from the dark. <laughs> hey, Zach, power slam. Uh, it may have been an overreaction. Uh, that's not a new route. That's the same route that we caught something on already. Rip. Was 
Zack the victim of Soren's wrestling days. Just that one time. Um, but like a group of us would always wrestle. There's a... Uh, and we were pretty dumb about it too. You know, reckless kids being reckless. Actually, um, one of, um, someone actually picked Knack up and slammed him through my box spring, which was really disappointing because I didn't want to tell my parents that it happened, so I just slept in a hole for like a year. <laughs> hey, Knack, power slam! Yeah, um, he was on the receiving end of what they call a spine buster, um, where he got lifted up and thrown down, and then we just, everyone in the basement went quiet when they heard the box spring snap. So I tried to, um, I tried putting cork board over it, because it was the best I had in terms of, like, a semi-stiff sheet of something. I put it in between my mattress and the box spring, but then it ended up just getting, like, just falling apart and just made a mess. <laughs> so, that was fun. Oh no, not the encounters over and over again. Alright, get out of here, Pachirisu. To sit back and fish casually, it's a grown-up's hobby. Whoa! The BGM on the Fisher. Okay, we gotta let that play next time. It's got sacks going. Bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum. You know, it's kind of funny. I feel like Goldeen gets memed on almost more than Magikarp. Just in, in like, the games. Like, you know in Smash Bros. with the Pokeball? Goldeen's the dud instead of Magikarp, right? And then, like, in the anime, you should get one free atomic leg drop on you. <laughs> I think I'd be okay if he did that. Zack Hogan. Listen to that BGM. I did not expect this from a fisherman. Some, uh... He probably break tried to do that to sort. <laughs> Slow fisherman form. It really is like some. It's approaching like porn soundtrack. Oh, this is the guy with the six magic harp. <laughs> I think there's a trainer here. Fisherman Zachary. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't the name of this guy, was it? This one's Andrew. 
I think the last one might have been Fisherman Zachary, actually. Or maybe it's the next one. <laughs> Magikarp Fight Club. It's okay, I'm the only one with a weapon. No one can stand against the Magikarps. I actually kind of like the way that the Magikarps are bouncing along to the music too. Like, they're just oonts, 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 oonts. We're so close to having a Gyarados, and I'm super excited for it. There's so many iconic Pokémon. And, like, I think Gyarados is, like, one of the most iconic. <laughs> Look at this. These Magikarp don't stand a chance. Gyarados' B tier? In terms of being iconic? I'd agree with that, yeah. I think everyone will know Magikarp, and most people will know Gyarados, if they know Pokemon in general. My Magikarp's in the top percentage of Magikarp. My Magikarp's special. That's like the, um... <laughs> this guy? So back in Gen 4, this was actually the guy that you did your EV training on for speed. You just go find him and you use the Verse Seeker and fight him over and over again to get your speed up. I really did just make you guys sit through Magikarp Fight Club, though. It's okay, it's worth it. It's really not. We gained, like, zero experience from doing this. Sometimes it's about principle. It's about setting, <laughs> sending a message. I should have been a little more serious about this. Yeah, probably. I fished up some tough Pokemon. Let's have ourselves a battle. They only don't go to better... <laughs> go to better. Go together if you don't let them go together.
Hey, look, more Magikarp Fight Club. Wait, yeah, this is Z Fisher Zachary. <laughs> You know, you use one little splash attack and everybody loses their minds. No. No, this is you. This is your Fisherman Zachary. This is... <laughs> there it is. There it is in 4K right there. I am not a fisherman with only magic carps. He's got a cool Dean. Magic crabs. That'll be a Gyarados one day. It's an investment. Yeah, this goes back to the kid that their dad gave them a gear or a Magikarp, and it's like, that's just bad parenting. You gave him a useless Pokemon that, like, he really can't do much with, and one day it's gonna evolve into a raging sea snake that will listen to your angry son. Angry at you for getting him a Magikarp. Well, textually. <laughs> Let's see here. Since Gen 5, your first Pokeball on the first route will always succeed. Really? <laughs> I'm just picturing that shitty meme where they're like born too late to explore the moon born too young to explore the future born just in time to get my first pokeball to work on a route Eterna City. History living. Feels great riding a bike with the wind in your face, doesn't it? Ooh, spoopy. Hello, child. Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took other people's too. Something should be done, but Team Galactic creeps everyone out. What are they doing to my Pokemon? Hi, you cute little trainer. What kinds of Pokemon are with you? This app will show you how close your Pokemon feel to you. Oh, the friendship. The friendship checker. That's good. How about you? The Pokemon faints used to revive on the Pokemon. Uh, not an option in Nuzlocke, unfortunately. Oh! Who knew this? Oh, cool! Who knew this was the thing? Friendship checker. Do you like me, Garotl? What do you think? No? Okay. Apparently my Pokemon just hate me. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on the calculator. That's a useful device. They say this is an old city. It doesn't look it though. Not with all these tall buildings. Yeah, can I uh, can I make the clock go away now? There we go. 
what's this? Underground man's house. Oh, the digging adventure. Okay, we'll check that out in a minute. What's this? Condos. Name rating services available. Do they not have police in this city? Like, a crime gang just rolled up, set up an office building, and stole everyone's stuff, and no one did shit. Don't you dare talk bad about Officer Jenny. How about Gardenia? Aren't gym leaders supposed to protect their cities? these TMs for the move recycle for such a long time. Oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm sure the th the Pokemon trafficking guys it's it's a total total misunderstanding. They're secretly boring. They just forgot to bring them back. That's all. I gathered a lot of stickers, so I'm placing them on my balls. <laughs> I'm this close to being ready for the super contests. Usually I'm pretty resistant to that shit, but that one just fucking got me. Wait, they literally kidnapped the owner of the bike store, Connor. Like... Let's call it a bad translation. Yeah, probably. They're just in a meeting. It's an extended meeting. Hey buddy, let's dig up treasure. I'm from Orberg. Okay. You obtained the explorer kit. Okay, cool. Do 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 First go underground. Simply use your explorer kit. It can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now try it. Well they they're really just like you're doing it now. And this old man just shoved me underground. Oh hey, it's Rourke! Network of tunnels and caves and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. It's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, crime. Alright, what's going on? Oh, I see. What level are these things? Also, I don't think I can have a random encounter in here. We're on 17 to 19? Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick Sephi out front. I'm going to walk down. I'm going to turn my chair around. And whatever happens, happens.
Fuck. Oh good, it's a bit of a taunt. Really gonna make me play this game, eh? Oh shit, Aqua Tail. Okay. Um. Maybe we go like this. Get an Intimidate off. And then we uh, pass it again, get another in Intimidate off. Actually, let's just go for a quick attack. Nice. Yeah, it's got Aqua Tail, it's actually a bit of a fighter. What are we gonna name this thing? do we do with this one? Uh, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna name it Ogo. Because it just got me thinking about the Ogo Pogo for some reason. Right, be gone. Of all the options, and it was a Bidoof. Yeah, that's kind of cool, though. Right, let's return to the surface. We'll spend more time down there later. Red sphere, blue sphere, green sphere. The road to being a spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. Sounds good. Okay. Well, I guess it's gym time? That seems to be the next, uh, next step on this wild ride. I wish I had a rare candy. Usually you run into at least one of them by now. I would think. Just so I could finish Magikarp off without having to do a whole nother level. Oh? Try to exit south. Why do I feel concern all of a sudden? Oh, cool. Hello, old man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, good sir, for pointing that one out.
the steak. You're so close. Let's get the steak to being a Gyarados before we go into the gym. Then I can actually do some stuff. I can't wait to have, like, Ice Fang on Gyarados and kill kill a Garchomp with it. That's, that's the destiny. That is, uh... That's Fistake's de destiny, to be the one to slay Garchomp at the end of the game. With a big old Ice Fang. Knock on wood. <laughs> My name's Soren, and I like throwing death flags all over the place, non-stop. It's okay, I've got Torterra, or... I'll have Torterra, I'll have Golem. Well, we'll see if I actually do. There's a lot of bullshit that could happen. Gotta respect the game. Crit you 19 times. I think that's what they call vengeance. Razor Leaf looks so good in this as well. All the moves are so good. Like, just so nice looking. Go on, Fistek. I know you can do it. Wait. What? What are you thinking? Bur Burmy evolves into either Mothum or Wormadan. Yes. I don't know what the split is, though. I don't know how they split them. No, it's a split. Wormadan's the final form and Mothum's the final form. He either comes out of his cocoon or he gets real fat inside his cocoon. Female Burmy is always Wormadam, male is Motham. Ah! Okay. So that's how they split it. Good to know. What was that? Tail Whip? Easy peasy. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, Fistake's not quite there yet. One more. Six experience off. Come on, man. So close, yet so far. Yeah, those two are rough to try and get, like, a gender devolution with. I remember I tried so hard to get a female Salandit, and then after I leveled it, I wasn't even happy with it. Yeah, I think Chris did find a shiny male one. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
That's a feels bad moment. I think that's what they call a monkey's paw wish, you know? You get what you want, but it's in a way that's just so unsatisfying. Let's go! The stake is evolving. Imagine if I did something absolutely ridiculous like stop the evolution. <laughs> what a waste that would have been. Once Gyarados appears, its rage never settles until the Pokémon has raised the fields and mountains around it. Well, right now you're just a big bitey worm, so... Calm down. <laughs> uh, uh. It's okay, if a stake's, uh... If a stake's here to commit crimes now, with everyone else. And I think it's about time we go to the gym. Bum bum bum, ba bum bum ba da dum bum ba dum. be obvious, but Grass-type Pokemon really hate fire. Uh... Okay. At my gym, no one gets to battle the gym leader until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck. Uh, so no, not only are you not dealing with the crime, but you also hide behind your wall of gym leader, or your gym trainers, so... I guess that's fine. Bum, bum. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -da 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 -da. Oh, well, only one spawn at a time. Or do I just suck at hide and seek? Aw, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, there she is. Oh, you got knockoff. You'll be fine. Bum, 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 bum. Man, the battle music continues to just be so good. I just caught a whiff of the drumming there as well, and it's just... The sound team went so hard. It just says chlorophyll. <laughs> just, oh 
I'm so mad, punch. Punch it in its stupid cherry face. Agreed. Oh shit. I forgot it's half poison. Alright, I'm not gonna let something terrible happen to, uh, to Machop here, so we're gonna switch to Garuda. Uh, he's a gutsy boy. He's a gutsy boy who not afraid of no one. Damn it! No, honestly, I was just trying to punch its lights out. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a slamming attack and be done with it. two trees. Oh, probably on the other side. Whoops. Also, should make sure everyone's healthy. Don't want to get too comfortable and then let something terrible happen. Trying to get that poison proc. Yeah. That was like partly in my mind, but yeah, it was mostly just... Oh, there we go. Yeah, the main thing I wanted was... I wanted to get the revenge proc. So that it did double damage. Dumb little buddy. Hey, we got the poison proc. Bum, 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 bum. Wants to learn scary face. Nah, you good. I think this will do the job. Yep. Wow, this girl really isn't packing a lot. So what do you battle with? Three Badoos. beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. How very philosophical of you. What do you mean, oh wait? There's a trainer named Lindsay in here too. We're just hitting all of the friendship. Oh, I see you. 
guys. See you. Aroma Lady Angela. <clears throat> and her Turtwig. How dare you mock my choice. Ooh, Bullet Seed. Alright, time for the one hit it. One hit KO, let's go. Side four flowers, okay. burn through all these low-B potions now. Beauty Lindsay. And her Roselia. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Weird choice, you probably should have gone for the Mega Drain, but who am I to tell you how to battle? Just kind of did it in reverse, you know? Yes. Or forget growth. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Ah, boo. Looks, look, you've beaten me. She sounds real disappointed about it, too. Alright, so just the gym leader left. So we're gonna heal up. And then we're gonna take, uh... <clears throat> I think we're just gonna use Staravia and just wing attack through the fight. No use in overcomplicating it. We'll just outspeed, knock them all out. Alright, so we're going to throw Garuda out front. And we're going to go for it. Let's do this. You kept me waiting. I'm a tournament gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. This will be fun. Let's have our battle. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, is she starting the fight with Sun? No. Alrighty. So, yeah, nice and easy. We're just gonna rip through a team with a flying type like it's nothing. Grass type master, everybody. Oh, it 
lived it. Oh shit. <clears throat> Alright, uh, she's gonna heal up. So I'm gonna use double team a couple times. But, but what, Connor? Well, she still hit me, so what's the problem? <laughs> There's no evasion clause here. We're in a lawless land. I don't like smog on. <laughs> When they banned Mega Sableye because it was over-centralizing the metagame, even though it had a 5% use rate, um, that's when I stopped thinking Smogon was using their head. You know what I mean? Or Salamence in Gen 3, yeah. Like, I get banning stuff that over over centralizes the metagame so to speak but like welcome back Emmy like I do understand where they're coming from but I just think the focus is just off you know Like, banning Greninja made sense. Um, you know, with the, with the whole Protean thing being really strong. Greninja in general. But Ash Greninja kind of pushed it over. Or Ash Greninja? It was, okay, yeah. So what happened was in Gen 6 it got bumped out when Protean became legal. But then in Gen 7 it was fine until Ash Greninja came out. Have you seen how many bands Dracozolt has? No, I haven't. And honestly, that's one that surprises me. Like, what's wrong with Dracozolt? Yeah, Ash Greninja was stupid. On an already really powerful Pokemon they did that, it was definitely not necessary. Are you saying something you think you have me cornered? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Ooh, that actually hurt a lot. Uh, no, it, so, like, it Mega Evolved when it killed something, and, like, the Mega Evolution was huge. Yeah, it was, like, Moxie. Titan wants to learn Bulldoze? Hell yeah. Uh, I think it's time that we lose Rollout, we just keep Smackdown. Amazing, you're very good, aren't you? Uh, not really, I just brought a bird. Smackdown's not special. Is it? Did I just make a mistake? Nah, there's no way. <laughs> you might be dumb. Arctazolt that has a ton. What's their reasoning for the bans, though? Is it just Bolt Beak's too strong, so bad? Yeah, 
Yeah, they really are. The, ol the only problem is everyone listens to them regardless. It's kind of weak shit, to be honest. One guy loses to a Pokemon. Oh no! They broke my press, my precious stall strategy. I guess I should have had a backup to deal with things that could magic bounce my stuff back. I mean, I'll give you. Uh, Sableye is a pretty strong, uh... 90% of the time it's people who don't change their team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Bolt Beam combo has been, like, a notoriously good coverage combo. Oh, what the hell? I got a Splinter. I got a Splinter in my finger! Ow. I'll figure that out. Side Pokedex, you must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello, Soren. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. Um, you know, you might be lying to me right now, Cynthia. Or at least telling a half-truth. <laughs> He's an infernate, and the most brutal check there was was a Dragon Knight. And I got mad about it, then I just replaced another Pokemon team with an unaware Quagsire. It's like the Steve Buscemi thing. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> TM93s. Oh. It's cut. Actually, is TM93 cut? Let's double check that. Yeah, it is. Gee, thanks, Cynthia. I'm so glad you gave me cut. I'll still throw it on Sefi for now, but... Let's do some ball decoration real quick. Alright, so... What's this? Sinister sticker. the Gyarados one. What if people tune in to see me decorating Pokeballs? Well, then they're here for the real content. <laughs> Ah, uh, the flower petals. There we go. Damn it, sorry, you missed the joke. Oh, I I found it. <laughs> 
I found the joke. Was there a lightning one? You know what's fucked up? What's that? No, I don't see a lightning one. Cyrus is 27. Yeah, that is fucked up. That's a little fucked up. Dude's 27 and running a uh, criminal syndicate. There we go. I used to have this song on my old flip so flip phone. So oh! Yeah, it's a good one. Do you remember trying to record stuff on your phones to use as alarms? Good times. I think it's about time for stake stepped up. It's time for Gyarados to bite all the things. Hello, handy young Bidoof. That's how you know Nintendo is fully aware of the meme about Bidoof. Like, it just comes out and does everything. It's HM Slave. <laughs> no, no, not my Bidoof. Arbiduff. I guess we're raiding their uh, building now. Alright, so uh, we're going against their first duo. So we'll do this. Sorry, dearie, Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. What, so are y'all just a bunch of loser adults that believe that space and time are gonna eat the world or something? See, like, I understand Cyrus's motivation, but I don't understand why anyone would follow him. Is it just his conviction? Like, is he just that convincing of a speaker that people want to follow him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Event Shaman, Yield, Arceus, and the Manaphy Legit. I remember those. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. It's, they're probably not doing it for free. Waterfall now. <laughs> I 
Because he needs something to stab with. I feel like Pokemon World Economics is, uh, a little busted. Make him suffer using Water Gun like a normal water type. Gyarados is built different. That's just the rule. Give him Fire Blast, is what I read. <laughs> hey buddy, what you watching? Did you know you're about to die again? They really just can't stand up to things, you know? Like, they just can't handle any... They can't handle me. You know he's watching... Yeah. Uh, I'm here to look at your laptop. No, you're not. Go zoo that. <laughs> we actually used to work with this guy who... Well, I didn't actually... He was gone by the time I joined the company, but there's this guy who, like, he was lactose intolerant, but he would eat, like, extra cheesy pizza every day and spend half the day in the bathroom. And then, um, he'd be just sitting there reading manga at his desk, like, all day. Lactose in toddler ants. Yes, sir. Yeah, eventually I think he quit. They didn't actually let him go. But boy oh boy, was he like speed running the Be a Bad Employee arc. You want to hear us harness the energy. Onyx stats are really weird. Yeah, his he has the same attack stat as Joltik. Giant Rock Snake, small electric gnat, same attack stat. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, he does have pretty good speed. I think they wanted, like, I think they made him specifically to be the first gym leader's, like, ace Pokemon in the first game. Like, I don't think they were thinking beyond that initial battle, you know? But then Bruno happened. Man, this Gyarados is just gonna steamroll everything now. <laughs> Bruno got kinda drunk and sorta caught an Onyx. And then he got Blackout drunk and caught another one. Like, if they were going to do that, they may as well have swapped one out for, uh, like, a Machoke. I 
Ah, uh, yes, the classic Zack part. Ooh, Kadabra. Uh, did you know, did George love the wings? Georgie, 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 George. Uh, will I outspeed? A part of me is afraid this thing's packing charge beam, so I'm gonna switch. Should have gone for it. Oh well. Did you know there's actually a legal battle about Kadabra? Apparently, over in Japan, instead of, um, Instead of being named Abracadabra Alakazam, which is like very much like an English magic thing, um, they named them after famous um, famous magicians, and I think it was the one for Kadabra. Got real pissed about his name being used, and uh, it was like a whole thing. Did you eat them in front of your dog? Were you like, hey Georgie, look at this, and then you ate the wings? Satan over here. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, who would ever do that? I didn't do that, no. I, I couldn't do that to Georgie. Wow! Alright, I guess it's uh, throwdown time with uh, the Galactic Admin, Jupiter. Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? That stun tank. Oh yeah, it's a stun tank. The, the, the stun... Stun tank! There we go. Oh, I got Geodude for bulldozing. I'll soften him up by uh, doing a bunch of switches. Stun tank is pretty cool. I remember her knowing a uh, flamethrower on it as well, so we need to be careful. Zubat. <laughs> Man, all of their songs go so hard. Oh, it, <laughs> it is a fart Pokemon. It literally makes a fart noise. Uh, I should be fine to fight it. Ha! We got the flinch. Sucks to suck, stunt skunk. Wow, we just kind of steamrolled her. Ha 
have an ass for her face, what the fuck? <laughs> and it makes farting noises, Zach. Losing to some child, being careless cost me too much. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars is collecting energy from the Valley of Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. I like how she's just kind of like... <laughs> she's just kind of like dumping their plan for no reason. With the power of the mythical Pokemon, he'll become the ruler of Sinnoh. This is your last warning. Alright, blah blah blah. Go, go see the cycle guy. Hey, free laptops. Imagine planting this many trees, like, outside your building. Yeah, it's wild that they were able to set up an entire office building where all they do is steal Pokemon and hang out in it. And no one did anything to stop them. Just absolutely wild. Do 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 do. All right, so we're all healed up. We're saved. Uh, let's take a look at the map. I believe we're going south next. Yeah. Oh wait, no, bike shop and then south, and we're heading for. I think it's Heart Homes, our next town. Right, okay, yeah, cycle shop. Hello! Hello, old man. Choose a color for your bike. What will it be? Well, obviously I'm going to pick the green bike. Do you want a green bike? Yeah, I do. You've chosen a fresh and lively green. It seems reminiscent of the seed on Bulbasaur's back. It's perfect for you. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual. Press B to shift gears. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it will be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride full speed and climb up slopes. Cool. We are going to add that to the favorites. Oh, new area means new Pokemon. Having a good time cycling? I am, or I was, until you stopped me. find stunkies down there. Ooh. Oh, well, look, we're intimidating each other. Imagine if intimidates like clashed. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Hey, not bad, you. Yeah, thank you for stopping me. I was just riding my bike. I 
I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Fuck. I didn't even cut you off. Why are you mad? Oh, pony talk, great. I'm sure I wouldn't have to switch out, but we play it safe in this house when we're doing Nuzlocks. The winner of Intimidate Clash has to win a set three sock final destination. Uh, Fox only. No items. Bum. That's what it's all about. Geodude should be due to evolve soon, shouldn't he? I feel like that's the case. Oh, actually, before I go t much farther... I should go back to Eterna Forest and go into the mansion. See what I can catch in there. I mean, like... Some of those fights are really fun to watch, but... I feel like, um... It's a lot of shenanigans. The death toll? No one's gone down yet. We're actually doing very well right now. We've got a pretty stacked team, too. We're actually just going to go back to the uh, Eterna Mansion and see if there's um, uh, b -b 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 any... Uh... Alright, cool. Oh, please let me go to the mansion. I hate these bug children. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, God. I wanted to go to the mansion. He's like, hey, you should really and seriously ride that bike right now. Like, you really need to ride your bike. Like, you've never had to ride your bike more than right this second. Damn it. Bum, 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 bum. Cyclist Ryan. And his shitty little Zubat. But yeah. Yeah, the, the Nuzlocke's going really well, though. I'm... I was starting to notice myself get cocky, and I had to check myself before uh, I let something terrible happen. Oof. It's okay, it's a Zubat. Why? Why you gotta? Why you gotta do me dirty like that? There we go. Fun fact: Did you know that Geodude's name in Japanese translates to "stone that throws stones," or specifically, it's "stone throwing stones." So it's like a little pun thing. bike but I'm not very good at fixing flats well if you keep if you keep starting fights with people you're gonna end up with a flat tire for a different reason are they Miss Vicky's 
Are you rocking the Miss Vicky's chips? I had a bit. Uh. I remember, um. I remember reading this thing where, um. Shoot. I think it was Red and Link. You know, uh, Good Mythical Morning? They, um. They're doing this thing with food, right? Where they're doing weird food combinations that people sent into them. Just to, like, try stuff out. And one of the combos that they were given was, uh, Miss Vicky Salt and Vinegar Chips with Vanilla Ice Cream. And it was supposed to ch taste like apple pie. And that one sounds super bizarre, right? So I got curious and I wanted to try it myself. So I, uh... I bought the necessary ingredients, and, um, yeah, it, it was really tasty, but it definitely didn't taste like what they said it was supposed to. You have a great bike, so I'd like to give you these great stickers. Oh, good. Everyone's so kind in the Pokemon world. What? What is this? What have I done? No. Well, I'll put those away and add the sky stickers to it. My mom was hooked on pickles plus ice cream when she was pregnant with me. That... I guess to each their own, but... That one I wouldn't be willing to try. Because... Well, honestly, I just don't like pickles. That's the... That's the big one. Two raspberries. Another two raspberries. Alright, let's plant those. Oh, I forgot poffins are a thing in this. Sprinkle water, yep. And water, don't forget to water your berries. There we go. Uh, yeah, and now we're gonna do our capture for Route 206. I might need to go buy some uh, Great Balls. I think we're hitting the point. How do you get off? No. Go away. Uh... All right, let's see. Alright, Duplicate Claws. Let's give another attempt. Oh, another Geodude. Okay, Duplicate Claws. We, Whatever the next Pokemon is, that's the one we have to catch. What's in here? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, it's a it's a stun tank. Oh, Ponyta. That's exciting and slightly scary. All right, uh, we'll switch to Garuda. And we'll just go for a tackle.
Uh, yeah, one little tackle should be fine. One little tackle was not fine. Okay, well, we don't get anything this route. That's disappointing. Zach's fart, it brought misfortune upon us. Yeah, I totally murked the pony. Nice. Soren hates horses. <laughs> Slander. I actually... I remember when I was a kid. Um, one of my neighbors, she went to this place where you could feed horses. And, uh, she's feeding a horse an apple and just chomped her whole hand. Then I killed it and ruined that whole thing. Alright, let's see. There we got our watering. Next berry. One time I saw Soren choking out a pony. You're not supposed to tell people that, Goner. That was our secret. Uh, I have no idea. It might be. Lukeberry. And one last orange berry to plant. There we go, we gotta keep everything moist and uh, growing. And we're good. Alright, continuing right along. Ooh, a double battle. Uh, yeah, this pairing's fine. My Pokemon, I'll do my best to. Bum, 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 bum. Patrisu and Ponyta. Okay. So we'll just waterfall the Ponyta and Razor Leaf. Wait a second, what am I doing? But it's a Pachirisu, but it's level 19. Yeah, no, we make good choices. <laughs> that was almost a series of bad decisions. Let's see how it would have played out. Okay, so it just went for a support move. Okay. So it would have been fine.
Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we'll double into Ponyta, make sure it goes down. We won't do something stupid like bulldoze and kill our own, uh, our own mon. Because who would ever do that? Not me. I wouldn't kill my own Pokemon. Haven't had a discharge acci accident before. Never has that ever happened. just went so hard on the soundtrack. The drumming, they've got like some a little bit of electronic beat going on top of the guitaring. Self-destruct. <laughs> no? Imagine if I taught Geodude self-destruct during the Nuzlocke. Oh my god. I feel like that'd be like a true... That Geodude would go down in Legend. Wait, why am I avoiding? Take him out for another round. Man. Gyarados is so nutty in this. Holy shit. It's actually wild how good Gyarados is doing. Just this unbeatable wall. Between Intimidate, he's got really high special defense. Very strong attack stat. He's just... Oh, it's a thing of beauty. The second coming of Fistake is just, ah, oh, it's, it's magical. Just magical. I think Pokemon Challenge bans Gyarados from all his runs. Everything about it is so strong. Yeah, I guess that's fair, but... He also just, like, Nuzlocke's every day, right? I, I don't really like reusing Pokemon a ton. Oh hey, this is the Metatite that I can get. I forgot I was entering a new zone. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Uh, okay. I 
I think the Luxio's tackle should be okay, right? Who's got the lowest attack stat in the team? Okay, so we got Gyarados at 68, 48, 55, 44, 47. Yeah, you're pretty low. I'll I'll just go for the tackle. A single tackle. Non-stab. There we go. There we go, that's what we like to see. Not an instant death. Alright, we gotta think of a name for this, uh, this little guy. Name Meditate. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Good stretch. Hmm. It meditates in order to build up its mental energy. It's said to eat just one berry a day. Uh, what will we name Meditate? Um. Name him Raz. Um, after Razadhan, which is a place in Final Fantasy. Alright, uh, what do we got? Oh hey, it's uh, the creepy Cyrus. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where Sinnoh region, the Sinnoh region began. A newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. What became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and in incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Okay, buddy. It's like, fair? Hello, Biddiff. Thank you, thank you. Oh, another Machop. So we'll just run that over easy peasy. Finally catch a new Pokemon again. And slowly but surely, we're just moving right along. seen a geode in real life they're kind of interesting it's like it's a rock ball with like a crystal inside so when it gets split open it's all full of just like beautiful crystals
get a bit of and name it after me yet? Uh, I did get... You know what? I forgot to name it Kev. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I can rename one for you. But yeah, Top 10 Anime Betrayal. Oh, Oster Jerk. Sorry, Kev, I did you dirty, man. <laughs> yeah, Gyarados is busted. I can see why... People that, like, do Nuzlocks all the time would ban Gyarados. <laughs> it's understandable. If I beat you, will you share food with me? Um... If you're at this point that you're just vibing on a mountain, begging people for food, you might want to, like, come down the mountain. Just a thought. It says, big stupid rock snake out. Oh, sturdy. I almost feel bad for how bad Onyx is. <laughs> like, just knowing how... how subpar of a Pokémon it is. It's a good thing it had a good slot in the anime being, like, Brock's ace Pokémon. Because if not, it would have been... no one would be paying it any mind. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's get our Luxio out front. And find out who our next catch is. Any second now. Any second now. I believe. I believe. Any second. There we go. Duke Claws. We try again. Psyduck. Alright. So. Cloud 9. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna hit it with a tackle and then start throwing balls. Uh, maybe we do two tackles. I think it'll be fine to take two. Bum, bum. Take two, why not take five? <laughs> five is overkill. 
Five is a mugging. <laughs> What do you think, Kev? Do you want to be this instead of Bidoof? I'm gonna grab a drink real quick. Kev, but with a question mark. Okay. Oops. That's going for the aroma lady, but sure I'll fight the artist. I like his pants. <laughs> He's so whimsical. I think the one thing they needed to do, if they were gonna put a um, unavoidable experience share on, is buff up the enemies' levels a little bit. Like, I'm definitely ripping through. Like, it feels like I'm, like, ripping through at... L like, none of the, uh, trainers... The trainers have fallen behind, that's what I'm trying to say. Aroma Lady Hannah. Oh, she got a little bee. trainers they're just just little pushovers they got nothing on me nothing on me all right so that's one down what's this berry master's house free berries available well, I think they just give out free berries like they just here's a random berry an agua berry. Nice. Oh, excuse me. Oh, she'll sell them. That's good. They got some of your secret files. <laughs> I best be looking out then. Or they best be looking out. Who's to say? Odd keystone. 
Oh, that's that's one for um finding spirit tomb. I think we're through this. If you say Heart Home City, I only say this. Super Contest Shows. Alright, we're in the big town, I think. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought the rival was coming to fight me. I'm Kira, a super contest show judge. Drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. I guess that's our next move. Oh, fisherman. Uh... <laughs> can I be kind to you? No. Welcome to New York. Holy shit, sorry, I'm still going up the street. I went out for dinner with the fam. <laughs> Pokemon pulls out the full gremlin within, man. When X and Y came out, I finished it within 24 hours. Like, I got off class, I went to GameStop, I picked up my copy, I went back to my dorm, and then I played it till it was done. <laughs> Just absolute monster. Do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the Pokemon Nursery in Solacion Town. Do you want to take it? Sure. Yeah. I... So, like, looking back at it, I understand why a lot of people don't like X and Y that much. And, like, I've kind of cooled on it myself. But at the time, it was actually probably my one of my favorites. Only beaten out by Heart Gold Soul Silver. That's one that I believe it heals when you deal damage. So we're gonna give that to Fistake. Hey, some people really, really love Gen 3. I respect it. I think my least favorite generation is 7. Uh, Sun and Moon pissed me- or, okay, so the initial playthrough of Sun and Moon was annoying to me, but not, like, outright pissed me off. But, it was, um, okay. Um, yeah, so Sun and Moon, it was alright, like, the story was fine, the gameplay was fine, uh, I thought it was a fresh idea, dropping the, um, shoot, what's where I'm looking for here? Uh, like, dropping gems. I, like, I thought that was a really cool idea, instead of having all those challenges and stuff. It's like, they had a lot of good ideas. But they also removed a lot of, like, really good quality of life things. Like, they had streamlined the communications 
in Gen 6 in a very smart way, where you just had it all on your bottom screen. And you could just click on your friend and trade with them, or click on your friend and battle them like it was nothing. And then Gen 7, they're like, you know what we need? We need to make a castle with storefronts, and you have to go to this castle and find your friend in order to do anything on the Wi-Fi with them. Like... <laughs> And all those meters and things that we had to, like, do EV training and all that other shit. Just ridiculous. Oh, it's BB. So yeah, between removing the quality of life stuff that they had added, and then retconning their own story when they released Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, it just pissed me off to no end. I I was so dumb with Gen 7 at that point. Look how happy she is. Alright, bye Fantina. Yeah, like... Oh, my hero. Oh, it's it's my Maja! Joanna is your mom, so you might be a super contest star. I haven't thought about those since playing GBA. I think we have to do it as part of the story. Alright, <laughs> who's gonna be our Pokemon in the Super Contest? <laughs> I'm gonna put this to a poll. I forgot about his existence. up if people want to give input on that but uh yeah we'll see unless we're rioting for uh for our old friend to come back Might be too funny to not. You know what? It's not like we can't do it twice. Alright. Welcome to the contest hall. Oh, you can do it with friends. Okay. Hey, you. We may as well just do it twice. Oh, there we go. Practice. All 
Alright, so we'll do the practice with, uh, with CVT here. Hyper points gained will increase by three if group is positive. For 10 seconds, it'll be easier to fill up the heart gauge. Uh, increase by two. Alright, let's give this a go. <laughs> Pokemon's condition, spectacle of its customized ball capsule. Okay. Dance evaluation. Your Pokemon's rhythm will be evaluated. Notes will flow across the screen from the right. Press the A button as they overlap with the scoring area. Okay. Rhythm game. Long notes. Okay, yeah. And then you press and hold. If your timing is as good as you hit the notes, your heart gauge will fill up. Okay. Each time the gauge fills up completely, you'll receive one height point. Boom. <laughs> Just once during the dance evaluation, you can press the X button to use a contest move. Yeah, this seems to be the contest, so you got your work cut out for you. I think we get the gist. That's all for the explanation. Would you like to try some practice? No, nah, I'm good. Let's let's go for the real the real deal now. Toughness contest. Normal rank. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, we'll do rock polish. Such a pleasant little thing. There you go. I'm look at me. I'm so flashy. Sorry, in CPT. Dun, 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 dun. Look at Bidoof just hanging out. Boom. 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 Boom.
Well, this is a cute little mini game. <laughs> so, I just had to pick a better fitting move, apparently. Okay. Well, that was a fun little experiment. Well, I did say I'm gonna do Geodude as well, but yeah. Yeah, we'll do Geodude as well real quick. I have a bad feeling my playtime will reflect contest time. <laughs> I don't think there's any way around that for you, man. can be cute again. Oh, how embarrassing. We wore the same outfit. <laughs> Yeah, no, this has been great so far. Yeah, no, this has been a really good remake. Like, I didn't really deal with the contest stuff at all back when I uh, played through it originally. There we go, look! Me and Geodude won! We're the, cr we're the prettiest boys at the ball. Assuming Dude doesn't die, you need to make him the best contest Pokemon since he won. <laughs> we'll be polishing that gemstone for a long time. Alright, I think... I think I'm ready to head to the next town. It should be open now. Yeah. Unlike my TFTLP. Big rip. Aw, oh, shit. No, not the rival ambush. 
Zach, why have you done this? Starly? Yep, the steak is still doing very well. He's become a true animal. Now I understand that thing about Gyarados. And why people complain about them. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> he doesn't know Flamethrower yet, but when we get to the next town, I think I'm going to teach him Fire Blast. If it's in the store. Dragon dance your way to the top. I have a dream of Gyarados using Ice Fang on Garchomp at the end of the game. And that's how I win. Alright, uh, we'll switch to Garuda. Three of my Pokemon have Intimidate, so like... The switching around is really goofy. I don't really lose that much momentum when I have to switch, which is nice. Yeah, I accidentally killed a Ponyta I was trying to catch, which was disappointing. I would have had a Fire Water Grass Core, but I like Machamp. I, I do like Machop, so, like, I guess it's okay. Have they added more than two fire types or what? Uh, to be honest, I don't think so. Imagine not fixing their video game. Well, they did, but they fixed it in Platinum. They didn't do it in Diamond and Pearl for some reason. No, I think what they've done is they fixed it by adding the underground area, and I'm not exploring it. Like, they have an entire underground cave system with different environments that spawn all kinds of different Pokemon. So I'm sure there's fire types down there. Like, I saw a Ralts when I went down there. So... Like, there's definitely more fire types down there, and that's how they got around it. Yeah, but for now, I just want to continue exploring the, uh, the overworld. And play it, play it as, like, a straight-up Nuzlocke, no little twists and turns and that kind of deal. Ooh! Hey, uh, Can, are you still around? Okay, bye, Chris. Graveler make their homes on sheer cliff faces that have numerous holes in them. Mag Mortar, yeah. You KO'd my team again. This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No, I just need to get tougher and keep winning. Uh, 
let's see. Or even, uh... Actually, I don't know if you'd be able to do it yet. Uh, gems. Do you have access to trade? I just want to evolve Graveler. Actually, you know what? Hold off until... I'm, I'll hold off on doing that until I have um, Machoke as well. There's a wreck stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it's... Okay. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -da -da -da. All right, uh, another chance at a new Pokemon. Let's give it a go. They've done such a good job with the music in this, holy shit. <gasps> it's Babarl! Technically, I could duplaz this, but... Or I should duplaz it. But he's so cute! Well, this is why I publicly posted my rules. Let me look at what I said. Family species. So yeah, it's duplazed. Maybe see you later, Babarl. It's like, where do you think you're going? You can't run from me? Alright. Uh, whatever this is, is the one that's getting caught. There we go. One very stressed out ghastly. Uh, I need something that can hit it and not kill it. I think my best bet is hitting it with a Razor Leaf. Whoa! <laughs> Not even close, baby! <laughs> Alright, we gotta name Ghastly now. Something. Edda. See, Edda summary. Yeah, they'll go to the box for now. 
I was so tempted to grab them, though. Oh, you could have been on the team. Oh, well. Alright, let's, uh... Let's take a look at the map, figure out where we're going next. Okay, so Route 209 gets us to Sola Solacion Town, Route 210, but we'll be going right to Veilstone, okay. I am going to pop by the shop, buy some more balls. Maybe buy some super potions. Because my Pokemon are getting strong enough that uh, little potions won't be doing too much for them. Oh, can't buy Great Balls. You know what they say. Well, that's great, but um, tsh. okay. Um, bike. Oh, you have to actually go in and register it. Oh, that's so much better. There we go. Okay, how do you actually... Oh, okay. So it's the minus button to open that menu up. Not that I really need the bike right now. I guess I'll just lead with Sefi for a little bit. Everyone's roughly the same level, so that's all good. Bum bum bum. Oh, sturdy. Oh no, he copied Razor Leaf. <laughs> Ooh, I like the animation for Cut. It's kind of weird making Cut a TM, though. That feels kind of goofy. Even close, baby. Alright. I almost feel deterred from getting into fights because of how far ahead I'm pulling. Ugh. 
Like, I just feel like I'm gonna rip everything apart easy peasy at this point. So we'll go a Razor Leaf, and we will break Bonsley's Sturdy. I actually adore the animation for Razor Leaf. The way it just, like, consumes the entire opponent's side of the field just blows them away, literally. Wah! 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 <laughs> oh, what's over here? Can I get to that? Yeah, I can. Hi, hi, I'm a Pokemon. Uh, doubtful. I guarantee someone out there has that exact outfit, though. My team is so hard hitting, I love it. Everyone's just bulky, tanky, and very punchy. You may register key items in your bag. Oh, what's in here? There we go. Not what I expected to find down here, but... We take those. Hi there, where are you from? What kinds of Pokemon have you got? You know what? Those are fair questions. I can't be mad that this one wanted to interact. I'm from the other side of the mountain, so... Makes sense. I'm sure she wasn't ready for, like, all this disappointment, though. Why does everyone just have bidoofs? Getting more Zubats and Starlies and Magikarps to bonk.
Fancy folks. Oh, is this... No, that's not the hilarious couple. There's actually this ridiculous couple in the game that have a onyx and a cloister. Or at least they did back in the OG. So when you know, you know, you know? Actually, I think Machop needs to be up front. I'm absolutely loving the music on the roots. I forgot how hard it went, and then the reorchestration of them just, like, pumps it up even higher. Oh, this is a new thing! This is a new Pokemon! Dupe check! I forgot. Okay, so that's one. Just poison type right now, right? No, he's poison dark. Let's go for revenge. Good call. Good call, me. I think revenge is one of my favorite moves in this game. At least for like the way I play Nuzlocke's with the the double damage swing back. It's just so good. Alrighty. Another one bites the dust. Oh, it's a doodle bug. I remember hearing Cricketune actually has like a really high attack set. going down sound is so sad. Yeah, am I making that up in my head? Yeah, I am. It's only 85. The base set's 85. Oh yeah, no, his call is amazing. It's a thing of true beauty. There's our second encounter of Ghastly, so on the third, we catch whatever's out there.
My Pokemon were taken from me. Team Galactic did it. Ever since then, I've never forgiven... Oh, man, that's... That's rough, buddy. Roughneck Kirby. You, uh, you gonna be okay, man? I feel like he's not gonna be okay. I think that's the first time they've, uh, just like outright said, yeah, my Pokemon are dead. In terms of, like, the enemy team killing Pokemon? No, that's a lie, because they killed Marowak in the first one. Oop. Bonk. Alright, come on, shake it off, Gyarados. Get in there. Okay, this is the one. Are you kidding me? Alright. Let's, uh, let's heal up. Don't want any unfortunate accidents here. This clef is really annoying. Uh, uh. Alright. Now that that's all sorted out, time to one-shot the cleffa. There we go. There it is, folks. There it is. I'm not doing my Pokemon any favors by ruining his memory like this. I can't be wallowing around forever. I gotta move on and turn the page. That's some depressing shit right there. Alright, whatever we encounter next is going to be our uh, catch for the Lost Tower. I just have to say that every time. Next to a grave. Yeah. That's just some peak savagery right there. That almost seems like it's, um, in bad, uh, bad taste. Alright, we'll just switch to Graveler. You know what else I think is in bad taste? Using a ground-type attack like Bulldoze or Earthquake in a cemetery. <laughs> you know, just thinking about it. We're in a cemetery and we're just shaking the ground all over the place. <laughs> ah, the raid! Thank you for the read, okay? Welcome, everybody. We are still just trucking along. We're in the Lost Tower right now. Yeah, welcome back. We're discussing how appropriate it is to be using bulldoze inside a cemetery. Um, 
Which realistically, it's probably not appropriate to be doing that, but here we are. Shaking the skeletons up in here. <laughs> I'll give a quick give a quick run through for those that haven't been around. So it's a Nuzlocke. Uh, I have dupe claws where I'll try up to three times if I keep getting non or Pokemon I've already caught in the same family. Um, but yeah, the team right now we got Machop, Gyarados, Luxio, Graveler, Staravia, and Grottle. We haven't had a death yet. Um, and we're honestly just making really good progress. So, things are going smoothly, maybe too smoothly. That's how they uh, lull you into a false sense of security. Man, there are a lot of people in here. I need to shake off my sorrow. Please be gentle with me. Uh, lady? What are you doing here? I'm just picturing, like... People going to graveyards to hang out just for the aesthetic of being sad. There we are. Bonsley down. The nice thing is, as soon as we get to the next town, we can just go straight into the gym, no grinding, because we're roughly ready for it, level-wise. makes a difference where we are. If you have Pokemon with you, I reckon you ought to battle. My Pokemon is a lively one, let me show you. We're in a cemetery! Why are you talking about your lively Pokemon? This is a solemn place! Now that's right up there with me using Bulldoze in here. <laughs> no respect for the dead in this house. Uh, we'll go for a revenge on Weasel, and then we'll switch to Gyarados. We'll get the stake out here. It's just so funny thinking about it, like, there's people, like, just mourning their lost Pokémon, and then there's someone like, Oh, look how lively my Pokémon is! It's like, really? Just wild. Absolutely wild. Double into Ponyta to finish it off, but one waterfall will finish it, I'm sure. Gyarados is unstoppable. Just an absolute menace to society. Cephi wants to learn Mega Drain. Let's see. 40 base power, but it's got the healing. Nah. Nah. Nah, we'll pass on that. Aren't you a lively one? <laughs> 
It's like, uh, sir, control your daughter, please. She keeps talking about being alive in the cemetery. Where there's a lot of sad people, so... Come on. Yeah. Next wild encounter we have... In, uh... In this place is what we're catching for the Lost Tower, so we'll see what it ends up being. Ooh, uh, okay, so we'll do a double switch. It's not too, too bad of a matchup, but like, I didn't want to leave Machop in front of a flying type. Mistrevious can do um, pretty surprising damage. You forget that it's like it's got the stats of a fully evolved Pokemon from a few generations ago. It's like it's also kind of ready to rock. Oh yeah, I was coming from a chop's neck. The unstoppable Fistake. It just keeps healing. It just keeps dealing damage out and healing. Oh, she mad. This makes me feel hollow inside. Oh, so hollow. Aw, oh, jeez, that's a downer. up here? Nope. Alright. This is the uh, catch encounter. Okay, so it's just another Ghastly. Uh, unlikely we'll be able to actually catch it at this point, but we'll see what we can do. I'm noticing there's a very big problem with my team in the form of everyone's a physical attacker. I've got no special attacks across the entire team. So, something for me to keep in mind. Uh oh. Okay, well, we're just gonna... We'll hook a great ball. Always good to have a backup. What shall we name it? Oh. I see a pair of little paws poking underneath my door. I'm gonna let the cat in here. Give me one second. Side. Charles, is that you, baby boy? Hello. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hello. Hey, bud. The cat has arrived. Gotta name this ghastly now. Uh Male get male ghastly. Uh going with Final Fantasy theming still. I'm gonna name this one after the ever present villains.
There we go. And to the box. Alright. So what do we got? Whoa! Just noticed the model decided to uh, go on a little sprint off the screen. Contain TM-96s. And a cleanse tag, okay. Alright, so we'll throw that on Garuda, I guess. Just for now. Until I have something better to give it. And we'll lead with Garuda for now. Alright, let's get out of here. What's up, Charles? Hey, baby. Good boy. Yeah, curl up, go to sleep. He likes to come in at the end of the night and curl up in behind me. And he uh, sleeps on the couch. I got a little futon behind my computer chair. Say Charles knows where the party is. Hey, buddy. Alright, so we're in Solace on town now. I don't think there's actually anything to do in this town. So we'll just breeze right through and head on to the next. It's time to catch our catch another party member. Or potential party member rather. Alright, let's see. What will it be? Alright, what do you got? It's the boy, Cricketoon. All right. I'm gonna hit him with a tackle, and then we'll try to catch him. Oh, he could probably take another one. see what we can do here. Apparently not. Okay. Um... Yeah, you're missing the hype with the I guess we'll take the... We'll have to deal with sleep the old-fashioned way. Alright, wake up! We try again. Just give it another go. Wake up. Sophia, please. take a so no random errant crit will just randomly kill Luxio we'll uh, heal it back up
and give it another shot. <laughs> Yeah, tank your little. There we go. Puck a ball. Two. Oh, come on. Come on. Just get in the ball. It'll be fine, I promise. Alright. Uh, let's give it another go. Let's see if we uh, get the catch. Oh, come on. This thing's really being a lot more trouble than it's worth. I'd love to soften it a little bit more, but like if I touch it again, it's gonna die. Come on. Come on. Why are we here if only to suffer? Come on, get in the ball. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. We just want to hear the call more. Alright, well this is the last ball, so if this doesn't work out, we don't get anything on this route. And we'll be just, uh, finishing the boy off. Well, he had his choice. He had plenty of opportunities to change his mind. And here we are. Goodbye, the boy. heal us up and then we'll continue on our way do 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 nice okay so we're good there And let's, uh, keep the ball rolling. Let's continue right along. Uh, shit. Alright, bike first, and then we'll continue right along. Is this, like, a kind of nice, uh, nice route? Like, it's imaginative. I like what they've done with it, but it's also really annoying to try and get through. Alright, so we're gonna spark the Stunky and Razor Leaf. Oh, Aerial Ace! Oh shit, I didn't know Poison Gas would hit both. Well, that sucks. Duly noted. That is what it is. Parent and child power couldn't get the job done. 
Nope, I have no idea what you guys were trying to do as your end game, but might want to reassess it. Oops. What did I just crush? Oh, it was just my chair got caught on my uh, computer mat. Alright, so we're going to continue right along. We're not going to go back to the Poké Center. And just pop those antidotes. And keep on trucking. Route 215. Okay, uh, now we have to go back. <laughs> we have to go back because I need Pokeballs. Breeder Amber. Oh, they've had some really nice animations to this one. Get in there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. So we need the shop. You guys do have a shop in this town, right? Do they not? Oh, there it is. I was about to be mighty annoyed about having to go all the way back. Alright, so I'll buy, I'll buy 10 Pokeballs. We'll buy five dusk balls. Grab a handful of potions. Grab some more antidotes just in case something comes up. Grab some of these, because may as well. One, two, three, four. I don't see those coming up. Okay. We are golden. Second verse, same as the first. Let's go. Whoosh. Alright, so... I guess there's no getting around it. We gotta fight this guy, but let's see. Uh, let's see what our first encounter is. Yeah, first things first. The most important part of the Nuzlocke. All right, what are you? All right, dupe claws. We try again. Something new. The Crookatoon came back to fight. <laughs> so, fight it, we will. Alright, 
so I hit him pretty hard there. Now I'm going to switch out for... Uh, who was I using? Uh, Garuda will be fine. So hit him nice and hard, and now we're going to start throwing Great Balls. Or, uh, Pokeballs, Dusk Balls. We're going to throw some balls. Come on, buddy. Whoa! That, like, broke with authority. This cricket... Cricket tunes are spicy. And they're a lot more trouble than they're worth. <laughs> but here we are. We finally got it. We can listen to him go totally ham on the mic anytime we want now. It crosses its knife-like arms in front of its chest when it cries. It can compose melodies ad lib. Alright, it's it's a boy. I'm naming this boy Soakin'. Yeah, it's not even that, like, they they were breaking out of the ball, like... The game made, like, an explosion noise when it broke the ball. Like... He was, like, having a... A, uh... Braveheart moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta make the nod to, uh... Never let Soken die. He'll Soken will become a primal at this rate. He's like a modern day god of music. Alright, let's go for the bite. It's a good thing I'm also slow. Aw, Shield On. I've always actually found Shield On to be a really cute Pokemon. Something about him is just... He's just cute. He looks a little grumpy and just like... A little grumpy cute dinosaur, you know? I didn't- I forgot he had a rock typing, so we just kind of like smash that boy in half. Whoops! Well, I found a unique animation, so I promise for- Right? Yeah, the game's pulling like, um... Bowling alley strike animations. For some of the attacks. Get him. Oh, Psybeam. Beam. 
bum 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 ba da da Truly the greatest martial arts staring at me. Absolutely just drilled the boy. Gurgle. I don't know if this guy's gonna be okay out here by himself. If he's gurgling like that, I think I messed him up pretty good. Let's give you the fist plate. And then we'll give uh, Luxio here that focus band so that if something terrible does start happening, there's a chance. We'll have a chance to salvage it, so... Oh. What's over here? Oh, it's a skip. Which way are you looking? Ooh, footballs. Let's grab that. Ooh, shockwave! What a thing of beauty. Uh, where do I go next? I think I'm going down. Okay. There we got our full heal. Another shoot up, boo. I want to be like you. Ooh, ooh. Uh, we're gonna switch and then we're gonna run. I'm not leaving a grass type in front of a, a slow grass type in front of a bug. I feel like I'm just asking for trouble. Let's get out of here. Alright, uh, what are these boys up to? Yeah. I'll battle anyone, that's how we'll get better. Taking the Veilstone Gym Challenge, but first... Oh, are these Ace Trainers? Ace Trainer Dennis and Maya. I'm always curious about their, uh... The Ace Trainers always have really interesting outfits. So it's raining, so Monferno's fire attacks will actually do half damage. So I'm not too afraid of leaving Sephi out. But actually, 
on second thought, may as well just get more, uh, more damage reduction going. And then we'll, uh, do that. No point in taking a risk. I mean, I guess it saves time taking the risk, but it's fine. It's better to just not, you know? Oh wow, that was a crit? Poor misguided little guy. ready for round two. Do you have any other uh, mons to come out? Okay, so we got a Kadabra. And a Gyarados. Now, I'm about to do what's called a pro gamer move to their Gyarados. That actually hurt a little bit. Alright. So that's that boy down. Nice. Okay. We good. We good. Wants to learn Aerial Ace. Yeah, we'll do that. You won and I lost, but both of us gained something from this. You made me lose my confidence. Girl... You just gotta shake it off. It was a mismatch. I wanna go to Celestic Town, but there are some Pokemon in the way. Hey, we're in Veilstone. Galactic Warehouse. So like, they've gotta have like some kind of shipping company thing going, you know, like, Team Galactic had to have had some kind of uh, job, you know? Ooh, the style shop. Let's go take a look at the style shop. You know, Glamour's the true endgame. I imagine it's this one with the Clefairies all over it. Just a hunch. Oh my god. This BGM. Oons, oons, oons. Coverall style. Eevee jacket style. What do we got? Gengar jacket style. Cyber. Oh my god, look at this. Winter style. Spring style. Casual style. Leather jacket style. Ooh, I really like that shirt that this one wears. 
Uh, I think you can go for the uh, winter style, though. You know what? Gotta hold off for a second. I'm not sure what to buy. Me neither. I gotta check the TMs at the shop first before I do that. So this is the space station. Uh, I'm looking for the department store. Because I'm pretty sure this is the town where the department store is. Yeah, let's see. There it is. Oh, hey, it's Dawn. Hello! Are you going to take the gym challenge? You keep getting tougher and tougher. I went shopping at the department store and I've been working on my Pokedex. I'll catch you later. Cool. Oh, this is the gym! This isn't a store! I want the store! Where's their department store? Okay. Um, is it tucked in here? No. Ah, oh, there it is. I just kept missing it. Alright. Going up. Uh, I believe third floor is usually where they have the TMs and stuff. Alright, so low sweep. Bulldoze. You, oh, you turn. Definitely want U-turn. Full swipe, rest, protect, safeguard, reflect, light screen, substitute, endure, workup, sword dance, double team, flash. Oh, I think I have to buy that flash. No, it's a TM. Fire blast, thunder, blizzard, focus blast, flamethrower. Beautiful. They actually give us access to the, uh, the nicer ones. I don't think they realize what they did by doing this. No, they know exactly what they did by doing this. Okay, so first off, you turn for Garuda. So you can become your proper scout self that I always knew you could be. And our meme is no longer a dream, as a uh, flamethrower for Fistake. Also, weird that both Graveler and Machop can also learn flamethrower. Just an interesting observation there. for Sefi. Uh, I 
feel like a kid at a candy store, you know? Uh, psychic Jarrow Ball. Dazzling Gleam. So, all the good shit is in with them. Okay. Grab... Say two bulldozes. Because we're going to give one bulldoze to... Oh. Apparently we're not. I thought Sephi could learn it since it becomes a ground type. But I was very wrong. So we'll do that. And then we will... We may as well just give the stake the other one. Ground is a really good coverage move, so... It doesn't hurt. So, Garuda's is in good shape. Sophia, in good shape. Fistake. Titan, Gilgamesh, and Sephi. Okay. Uh. Maybe I'll sell some uh, some items real quick. Sure. Give me the counter app. Ah, uh, you're the, uh, the that. <laughs> so we'll sell that. Uh, honey only goes for 50 in this. Sell the tiny mushroom, though. And because fashion's important, we're going to blow $50,000 on a new outfit. Because my priorities are in order. Winter style. I like it. There we go. I got the good duds on. Alright, so is this team all healed up and everything? Looks like it. All right. Uh, let's see. Do I go for it now? Let's go for it now. This will be the last thing we get up to tonight. We're just gonna rip through this gym nice and quick. Black Belt Jeffrey sent out Machoke. Oh. Okay, they're not one and done. So oh no, he's got Rock too. Yeah. 
Yike. Alright, well, we're gonna U-turn out. Because we've got a little bit of a speed disadvantage there. Um... And yeah, we'll just, we'll go to Cephy. Why not? Bum 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 I guess it's going for a flinch strat. And it did not pay off. I'm so hungry, kid. I don't have any strength left. What, do they just force you to work out all day until you pass out? Concerned for the uh, the health and safety of the people working here. All right, we'll go with Garuda. Bum 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 ba -dum, bum. Another Machoke. All right, what level is this one? Twenty-five. Okay. Uh, we'll slam it with an aerial ace. Interesting. Oh, another Machoke. This gym really loves its uh, big burly fighting Pokemon. I guess that shouldn't be a shocker, though. Let's go... Let's go to Sophia. We'll go Spark. Switch to Fistake. We're just gonna already do the switch. I don't know why, but I'm suddenly just feeling like a little bit of dread. I'm just kind of expecting something to go wrong. Ah, he was packing something. It's gonna chip me down with fighting moves and then finish me off with a non resisted one. It's got a little much off left. Okay. Uh, we'll switch out to Sephi. Just in case we don't get the one shot. Okay, this guy's just all about the throws. Got it.
Oh, a little shit. Machoke's Dodo data. <laughs> Machoke's Dodo. Hello, brain. I'm so glad that everything I say makes sense and I never stumble on my words ever. Let's get patched up. Up. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Send that back. Huh. What am I doing? There we go. It's kind of interesting how the, each of them kind of have their own little fight pit. <clears throat> it's a fun, nice touch. I like it. Let's give this one another go. I'll strike a blow for love with my fist. Alright, let's do this. This gym is literally just all machokes. Oh, posture check. Get all readjusted here. Alright, so we're gonna go for U turn. We'll swap out to Gyarados. 
get the debuff in. so much damage. Oh, it's a crit. But still, it does a lot of damage. Wants to learn Rain Dance. Uh, let's keep her old moves. Should finish it off. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Alright, so that's another one of the quad down. Uh, everyone's healthy. Okay, we're good. You're the last guy. Alright, meditate. I think Aerial Ace will just outright knock this thing, so... That's what we'll go for. I like it. Yeah, so we'll shove that. And then. Cool, 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 cool. Um... Ah. That. Oops, send that along. Alright, hopefully, nothing terrible happens when we go to fight this uh, gym leader. Sophia, Fistake, Titan, Gilgamesh, Sephi. I think I just want to take Sephi and go for a curse strat. She won't put her best foot forward. And it'll let me uh, just like stack a bunch of curses and then just push forward. We're going for it. doesn't know how she became the gym leader. Girl, if you don't even know how you got here, how are you running this place? Alright, so we're gonna throw up a curse. two curses. Oh shit, that's not good. That kind of defeats the purpose of me setting up curses.
if she's just gonna drop my accuracy like that. Alright, well, let's go for it. Keep that going. Nice. Alright, so I don't think I actually... I know she has a Lucario to finish it off. But I don't think I have anything that actually hits Lucario properly. So I'm going to do some attack dropping shenanigans just like hopping around so I'll start by jumping to Garuda get the intimidate off Drain punch. That hurts. Alright, so hit with U turn. And we'll we'll switch to Gyarados. So with that we'll have dropped Lucario's um, attack by two stages. And then we'll go on the offense with Bulldoze. Not a whole lot I can do at this point. Ooh, I like this arena. I like the lights that they've done all up above. It's a nice touch. I think they've done it to all the gyms too. Alright, Lucario down. that's going to be an evolution for Sophia. I shall admit defeat. You are much too strong. Yeah, we're the best. Look at that boy. Luxray has arrived. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Bum, bum. You received the cobble badge from Maylene. If you have that official Pokemon League badge, you can use the hidden move Fly from your Poketech. Oh, and please take these as well. Stickers that Maylene uses. And TM60s. I'm assuming those are drain punches. Yeah. I'm hungry. Sorry, it's nothing. I didn't say anything. But being with Pokemon lets us keep making the effort. Nice. Alright, so. Yeah, head back to the entryway. I'm just gonna save the game. And I'm gonna set us up to raid. Wrap this up for the night. So I'm gonna shoot us at Sophia, who was hanging out here earlier. And I play... She's part of the D&D group that I'm running. She... She does a lot of good, hard work, like, very fun person to watch stream, so can't recommend hanging out in her chat enough. 
So I'm going to set us up to raid, and away we go. Thanks for hanging out for, what has it been, eight hours? Almost eight hours. <laughs> uh, and funny enough, I'll probably want to do more tomorrow at some point. So with that said, I will catch you all next time. Peace.